Okay, there we go. Uh, so we will start with constitution saving throws for our good friends Vicamros and Ragnar. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> the cameras. Oh, uh, Ragnar, you have advantage. Hmm? You have advantage on this track. Oh, okay. I heard damage. I was oh, uh, we have to ping. Starting. Okay, so I'm, I'll go with the 17. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I think Nick Neal is still studying with her. Uh, <coughs> yes, keep on typing stuff until he comes in. <laughs> really clog up that chat. Yeah, let me just spam him with it. Yeah. Um, so I, I assume he can't be the 17. The odds of that are really low. Um, so, uh, Ragnar, you wake up. Uh, a bit of a headache. But, um, you mostly wake up to seeing, uh, this long red hair beside you. Okay. Uh, do I remember if it was one of the, what's called, shopkeepers? Uh, well, you can look right now, if you look right here. Yeah. It is very much so. Alright. No. Yeah. And then you notice she has too many hands. Interesting. Yeah, uh, they're <laughs> both of them appear to be asleep on your chest. Uh, you are armless as you kind of nudge your way around to look around. Uh, you <laughs> notice the room looks something to this effect. So I'm currently armless. Um, pretty much, yeah. You are a dwarf in a twin sandwich. Interesting. That yeah. your armless, your arms are underneath them. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I, I know. <laughs> uh, are they sleeping or...? Very much so. Uh, they appear to be drunk and etc. Well, I don't want to wake them up abruptly. Um, however, what's called Dwight? I presume I see that? Ah, uh, you do. It just appears to be watching. It can't seem to get through. Is that good news? That, that kind of worries me. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've seen that creature before. It can't really get past that barrier. Yeah, for now. Um, and I clear, I see Cleric over there and the cameras. Yeah. Um, however, as you look at the Cleric, you can see his, uh, his eyes are, are strange or different. They're, are they glowing still? They're glowing, but they're glowing green and red. Or rather, red and yellow. Huh. And uh, what's called... This guy over here, that is Mitch, correct? Clearly, yeah. Okay. Ha. Huh. Welp. Is is Nick here yet? I don't think so, no. Yeah, I'm here. I said Nick, not Neil. <laughs> no, I meant, I said I meant Neil, <laughs> not Nick. Whatever. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. That's there cool. Okay, uh, so, um... So you kind of wake up in a, you know, in a shot. Um, you kind of look to your left and um, laying on your on your bed in the, uh, what do they call it, um, in your astral dimension, and uh, you see this long blonde hair kind of um, streaming over your over your chest. Nigga, did I just fuck Lana? Pretty much. Uh, she cut. You see her yeah. eyes kind of blink open. And they kind of squint. You see her kind of angrily look at you. <laughs> Reach into my pocket and take out a mithril coin. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hi. Um. You I see don't her. Know what happened? You see her kind of bend her back backwards as she reaches underneath her and pulls out your mask. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. I'm gonna put that on real quick. Cool. Before anybody else wakes up. Hey there. You look over and, and you can clearly see um, Ragnar is uh, it's a little bit trapped. Yeah. Go Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'll chuckle at that comment. <laughs> Quietly. So I look over at Lana and I, I say, what, what happened? She says, if I remember, I'd be killing you right now. <laughs> if you, she, she says, if you use the charm spell, I swear. I say, I don't have any? That is not a lie, either. <laughs> Damn, I'm that good. Alright! Oh. Sweet. Cool, uh, so what do you two do? <sighs> you know, I like to take my time in the morning. Okay. So I'm just and gonna chill. Stare at the roof. Stare at the roof? Um, the roof? You just look up <laughs> and you, you essentially see another one of these things. Just looking down at you. <laughs> I give him a wink. <laughs> Where did I put my clip? But yeah, uh, I, I guess I'll just chill there until you know people start bringing up conversation. Cool, cool. Ah, uh, Ragnar. Um, I guess I'll just sleep as well. Well, not sleep, but lay down there as well. Cool, cool. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Unifier, you can notice that a few of them uh, are starting to wake up. Wake up. Um, yeah. would you have? During the hours you were down here, if they were predisposed, would you have been cleaning up, or what would you have been doing in here? Um, because the place is kind of a mess now. To our clean up, yeah, I have been cleaning up since then. Cool. Just um, up. yeah, you you can clearly see uh from where you are that uh Ragnar and the cameras have woken up, although still Clark not so much. You ain't waking up. All right, I will just continue to you know. No, it's 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 already clean. Oh, okay, all right. So yeah, after that, I guess uh, I just give them the uh downward head shake of shame once we make eye contact and I bounce from here. Cool. Um, as you go out, as you're about to walk out, you see um something actually start forming in the water. You see a little uh, a little head of a creature. It looks like a uh, it looks monstrous. It looks like some sort of dragon type creature, but it's very small. From this puddle? From the puddle, yes. It's coming in. A goo. Um, I just watch it. Cool. Uh, you see it come. It kind of it's, it appears to be a small kobold. Um, it kind of gives out a bark, like a bark, as it comes out. And it kind of uh, crawls, kind of gets pushed to land. And you can clearly see its arms and legs are, are bound with rope. I start untying it. Um, at that point, you see uh, if another form as Norian comes through. <laughs> uh, Norian, you can see with your fire clearly untying the kobold. I give him a very uh, menacing glare. I say, uh... I'm assuming this is uh, your trophy? I thought it was just something floating around in the astral plane. No, I saw him lurking outside um, with weapons and such. I thought I'd grab him just in case. Uh, and I saw him the, uh, what's it called, the dagger and shard bow he had. Where's uh, he from? I didn't know cold bolts were around in this area. I didn't think so either, that's why I grabbed him. Um, I was hoping Neil could be able to talk to him or something. Uh, so I'm gonna try to just say, do you understand in Goblin? To see if he speaks Goblin. Uh, he doesn't appear to react as if he knew. Or he's a good actor, it's hard to tell. So then I ask him in the comment, do you understand what I'm saying? Same reaction. Uh, Nolish, last language, do you understand? Nope. Yeah. I say, well, our wizard friend is a bit busy with uh, one of the shopkeepers. I kind of, you know, point over there. So I look that way and I go, Lana. So <laughs> you look over there and you you uh, you see a you see a Lana slap him and uh, kind of walk out in a huff. She uh, jumps through here and you see her just angrily putting more clothes on. She passes yeah. by. She kind of looks at you two and say, you didn't see anything. And she jumps through the portal. I gotta see what? <laughs> say, only if I could uh, erase my memories like that. I sit up and look at Udo Fire and Noreen. So, tough love. Yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to, at least you screamed at yeah. They really <laughs> You woke everyone else up. <laughs> so, I say, where did you find this cobalt at? 
it, it was just outside lurking near the well, uh, behind one of the houses. Right. So, um, I'd say uh, I'll see if he's alone or if there's actually more than just him that was lurking around. Said so you can just, uh, you know, do if he can do anything. I doubt he could. Always ask uh, his uh, more magical friend to sleep over there. Mm -hmm. um, I, Who's asleep over there? Uh, Mitch. I was referring to. Okay, so you're pointing that way. That's oh no, weird. somebody else was pointing. I was pointing. Oh, okay. So I said uh, I'll go outside and see if uh, I can find any other cobalt tracks to see if he was alone or not. All right. All right, and then I'll <clears throat> go up the well and do exactly that. Cool. Uh, meanwhile, Norian. Yep. Yeah, uh, right now, I signal uh, the cameras to come over here. Cool. Yeah. So I assume you're wearing pretty much what you're wearing in real life right now. <laughs> A sock, school clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so we had some crazy Eight role playing. <laughs> um, I guess I'll pick up all my clothes off of the steel cleric and put it on. Cool. And, Done. Uh, so John, let me ask you a question. How did I get from here to here last night? Um, you jumped. I jumped. Yeah. There's there's no air out here, so there's no gravity. So it's dumb easy to jump? Pretty much. Yeah. Alright, what do I need to roll? Yes. Nothing. Alright, so I jump. You make it. Jeez. All the while, I'm looking at one of those squiggly things over there. Yep. I say it's just look up, there's a bunch of them. It's just watching. Mm hmm. Yeah, but if we can jump here, mm. <laughs> I don't I'm like this. Like, you, like, you, uh, can, you can see piles and piles of bottles of absinthe. Absinthe is uh, piled in the corner neatly, as if organized by an elf who is a little uptight. <laughs> oh, I'm taking steps like a like an astronaut, just big gravity with sure. steps. Uh, there is gravity, but sure. I right, come up to Nori and say yes. <laughs> Yo, Vic, uh, can you speak with this thing? He was lurking outside um, with weapons. I wonder what he's doing here. Afternoon thing. What, were you, what language are you speaking to it? Uh, common Elvish, Orcish, Kodorv, and Goblin? Nope. No. Yeah, those were the exact same languages I had. So I'm gonna whip out my book of mystical creatures and look up this disgusting kobold in my book. Cool. Um, kobolds. Probably more related to the chicken than the human. Um, you can clearly see that they are draconic in nature. Um, they are apparently goblins that were uh, repurposed by a dragon long ago. And um, they've kind of been genetically messed up uh, a lot. They uh, Originally, they apparently had wings and mm -hmm. uh, could fly. But um, Generations has changed that. Besides that, you don't really know that much. So I'll look at him and go, cock? Yeah, he kind of looks to you and he kind of just, <laughs> his eyes darting back and forth. He's, he seems very uneasy. Mm. Uh, I saw Norian. He most likely speaks Draconic. Or chicken. Yuck. Chick uh, <laughs> if we had our chicken. If yeah. only if we had our chicken. Uh, can't you look into like his mind or something? Oh shit. That might work considering it's kind of uneasy. So, uh, you know, against his will, I'm looking into his mind. That all three spell? Yep. Cool. Yeah. So you, um, you tap uh, your thing against his head, and you see the exact situation that's playing out now. Hmm. That's so he's not very intelligent. <laughs> Well, it's not very intelligent, or maybe this is just the only thing he's thinking about. Or maybe it is very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that one. So he's not thinking about the consequences <coughs> of getting caught. <coughs> so it probably can't be that bad. Unless he's yeah, well, he's still looking. Uh, I'm going to tap the red door. I know. Go for it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm guessing you tell me what uh, what he's looking at, which is this. So, yeah. I think he's probably uh, just you know kind of actually. 
Yeah, his, his, his face is darting around back and forth. Uh, John, are there any more bottles of alcohol? Um, yeah, you, you see you see a couple or half a little bit left in them. If you put them all together, you can probably get a full bottle. Right, um, cool. I have some backwash, but... That's fine. I'm going to do exactly that. And come over to this cold wall and try to just give him a sip. See if he wants to drink. Um, you, you see him kind of... He's not a fan of drinking a glowing green liquid. It's... If you could, so if I, you want, you can try to force him. Uh, no. So I say, Norin, just uh, sit him right here, okay, on the edge, and we'll talk to him later. All right. So if right. Norin sits him there, I put the bottle like uh, five feet in front of him. Cool. Right. Uh, his hands and arms are bound. Hands and legs are bound. Yeah. No. Cool. Cool. So he's now over here. Okay, what do you want to do then? Uh, uh, Ragnar, maybe? Who's mm -hmm. stuck in between the girls. Are those the twins, by any chance? Yeah, that's that's Faye and Annabella. Uh-oh, Mitch isn't going to be happy. Yeah, I think Mitch is having a great time. Yeah. Uh, Ragnar! <laughs> yeah. Ragnar, get up! Um, so I guess we have this gun now. <laughs> <laughs> Were you good, Ragnar? <laughs> Might be able to hear this more. <laughs> um, you're, you're having trouble hearing it over okay. their over their soft, gentle breath. <laughs> I politely excuse myself and say it was. Uh, I had a nice time, but I need. Neither to of them are conscious. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah, a nice time. We're not getting into this kind of thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, is there any way I could try and? Slowly slip myself away me, from them to you're, get up. You're not wearing armor. Give me a stealth check. Yeah, <laughs> not disadvantage. But I will probably wake them up either yeah. way. Yeah, uh, they're they're asleep, so you have advantage. Oh wait. Uh. Nope. Forgot the slash. <laughs> you stupid. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, cool. Yeah. You're. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you it was. Know. You were destined to not wake these girls up. Yo, he's actually a ninja. I don't know why he's wearing armor. Yeah. <clears throat> I think he's a playboy. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, like, sadly, somewhat, get up and put armor on, etc., etc., uh, yeah. and just um, jump over here. Cool. As you get to about there, you see um, Alexander kind of open his eyes, and uh, he looks to you and says, Hey, Ragnar. What? Hey. What the hell is Alexander doing? <laughs> I just said, hey, and I continue. So I look at Norian, and I say, Norian, were you sober last night? I was definitely sober, I just wasn't here. <laughs> so, uh, what's happening, guys? Hey, actually, uh, John, did I see uh, Alexander come in when I was still here? Or... Uh, do you remember what happened to Alexander? Yeah. Wasn't he turned into a uh, no? Uh, the a thrall. Yeah, dude. a thrall. Yeah. So I look at Nori and I say, "Stop oh, the shit not. out of me right now." So I slap him. John, do I feel this slap? Yeah. All right. Well, what were you expecting to happen? Like this might and be I a dream. Feel or... that slap, and then I wake up. No. And then I'm next to Lana, and then everything loops again. You're you're quite aware at this point <laughs> that this is all happening. Huh. Okay, um, after realizing that's Alexander, <laughs> <laughs> I um, hop in there. Cool. And I grab the still cleric. Okay, um, you, grab his, you grab his hand. Uh, you see his eyes kind of open says, who are you? And Norian. What, what, what's up, still cleric? You can see his eyes are colored yellow and red. It's clearly confused. Did he have ass absence? <laughs> <laughs> he said acid. Yeah, he said acid. Um, come with me, uh, cleric. So he's like, mm -hmm. whatever. He uh, he goes with you. Uh, he kind of takes the jump over. He kind of takes the jump over, but lazily. All right. So I tell the guys, what do we do? About what the steel cleric says. Uh, we should probably figure out what happened yeah. last night. I say I typically have a pretty good memory, and uh, 
I woke up with Lana next to me. That's all I know. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I look at their necks to see how if, if they have any bite marks. Who's? Uh, Ragnar Vic. Ah, uh, they look fine. Yeah. Uh, no so I look at Norian's neck. No, I'm good. So Hickey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. Cool. Nothing particular. So I see. Do any of you speak Draconic? No. no. Oops. Love head shaking over at the Silk Cleric. Do you see? He kind of notices his hands. Like, whoa, my hands are metal. <laughs> So I, I I asked the silk cleric, what's what's your name? Ben. Ben. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> Go ahead. Udo is in here. I say Ben. He looks ben. to you. Yeah. So you remember last night? He shakes his head. So you pulled that fine lady. So you know her name? Guy uh, scratches his head. Says, uh, no. Good. Then there would have really been a problem. Do you know my name? Um, starts snapping his fingers. No. <sighs> Do you know anyone here? Uh, he starts looking around. Says, not particularly. Says, I'm just gonna go, though. I'm just gonna... You don't mind. So how about you uh, just lay down? No, no, it's, I gotta get to work. Uh, you know, Ben, I think you're um, intoxicated. I think you should probably lay down for a moment. He says, let I me, do, let me do he, he says, I do feel weird. He starts looking at his hands again. Ben? Yeah, yeah just, just lay down for a second. Let me, let me see what he, I can do. Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure. Okay, he, he, he kind of sits down where he is. Say, so Ben, what do you do for a living? Uh, he says uh, he um, he he works with merchants. What do you sell? I don't sell anything. I I sort of manage the locations of certain objects and, and places. Let's say, do you know anything else about yourself? What's your last name? I stock shelves. Okay, are you happy now? Is that? I, do you feel like a big man now? Is that it? So I don't even have a job. Economy sucks. Says your twenty says, well you have a nice house. He looks around. I said my house is your house. You can stay here as long as you want. <laughs> it's like that that would be cool, but I really get back to uh, you know, my sister and family and you don't mind. I look over at Nori. Yeah, I look over at you. Uh, <laughs> so I ask Ben, how, how far do you live from the, um, what's it, from the, uh, you know, the, the, the gate? So. He lives on the other side. He lives in on the outside of town. Or out, outside the gate, rather. Mm -hmm. There's the inside, which is more like the, the meat of the town, and there's the outside, which is just houses. Yeah. So Ben, I'm gonna throw some words at you, and you gotta tell me first word that comes to mind, all right? It says okay. My head hurts uh, a little bit, but all right, black. Ah, uh, black. White. White. I'm really bad at this. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Sorry. Shelves. Shelves. Um, he, he he says some product you never heard of. Uh, snitch. Snitch. Golden. Ditch. Snitch. <sighs> Again, I'm really bad at this. I said I did good. Tomato? Tomato? Fuck. <laughs> He's gone. I said, well, you better get to, to work. He nods. He says, um, I think I left my clothes back there, though. That's. Wait a minute. I... Is that me? He starts pointing at one of the dwarves. Uh, what is he looking at? Ah, that's right here. Motherfucker. I say, Norin, don't let him leave. <laughs> he starts freaking out. <laughs> I say, uh, don't worry, Ben. Don't worry, it's gonna be, so, it's gonna be okay. Uh, I jump over and, uh, wake up this dwarf. 
Cool. He has so, eyes open. Uh, so Steel Clerk? He says, Aho. Oh. So what's your name? Moklok Niklok Sasha. You start hearing then... Orkish. You start hearing Orkish come out. Oh my uh, god. You speak Orkish? Yes. Do I? Says, Hold up, let me check. I'm positive I do. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> what do you want, Vic? I say... What's your name? Mokhtar. Oh my god. So I tap Alexander. Okay, he kind of looks at you. Hey, Vic. Say, hey, what's what's your name again? Ah, <sighs> idiot. He kind of shakes his head at you. So I'm sorry, I had a lot to drink. <clears throat> says you're, you're serious? Yeah. Um, says, uh, it's Rick, Rick Hamros. Moron. <laughs> Let's see, uh, alright. Mm -hmm. uh, Noreen? <laughs> mm -hmm. We've had a, uh, so I gotta pull Noreen over to the side. Cool. Like, tell him yeah. to come right here. No problem. Let's say, uh, Noreen? Yeah. First of all, if anybody tries to leave, you don't let them. Second of all, we've had a spillage of souls, as I'd like to put here. Maybe swapping places, or I don't know. Okay, I was just gonna add, actually put Udafar back in here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Udafar, you would come back in. Um, you found numerous amount of tracks uh, from the night before. Uh, most of them were covered with snow, but your dog really helped you in the situation. Um, yeah, and uh, you found numerous tracks, and a lot of bo they both come in out of nowhere and leave out of nowhere. They just End abruptly. Mm, and they were cobalt tracks. Yes, they were. They were barefoot and clawed in the snow. I say, guys, we have sort of a dilemma. I said we have a bigger problem. I said more than uh, disappearing cobalts. Yes. Imagine. I don't know. A metallic robot filled with souls, and then somehow those souls get placed into bodies of thralls you know like like the steel clear kind of splitting into multiple people I say uh, yeah I was aware of that I saw the whole thing happen I say how did well, it happen for the most part I say uh, ask your um, your and I point over there your wizard buddy Said all of you guys were lining up for him to do it. I'm surprised you're still in your body. He transferred you to about three different thralls. You don't remember? So I point to uh, Alexander's body and then to two random ones over there. I said, uh, yeah, you were trying to play, you guys were playing a game like, uh, I guess, uh, like musical chairs except with bodies. Yeah, who was doing that? Mitch or, or Victoria? Mitch, yeah. Everyone was pretty much lining in for that. He got uh, pretty much a good group of people. I'm surprised if uh, there aren't more people who had their uh, bodies, uh, you know, altered and stuff. Death to Udafar. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said, if you don't believe me, I can, uh, you know, do that little staff. Yours? I'd say that would be great. Alright, if you're willing to use magic for something I'm telling you. His face. Right. <laughs> and instantly start projecting uh, in a very small square so Norian can see yeah. it. Just Norian. Pretty much recall uh, everything I saw from underneath the desk. Cool. Uh, you see um, the party going on. Mitch transferring souls from the steel clerk going, Hey guys, check out what I can do. He starts going back and forth between these people. Uh, he's basically using the magic jar spell to make them go into a small gem and then transfer them around. Everyone's having a great time. Yeah, that's that's the end of your version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys pretty that's much <coughs> jumped in line once you once they saw uh, 
the first time everybody went to you know, body hop or whatever. I say, uh, should we fix this? <laughs> if you can, go ahead. If you can't, I'd say wait until uh, Mitch wakes up. I doubt he'll have a problem doing it. Yeah. Uh, would the thralls attack us if they get, you know, if they lose their cells? Okay. Uh, no. You can clearly see inside the Steel Cleric, there are, um, there's one kind of yellow um, spear, you know, running around, while there's a red one just kind of sitting there. I don't have any gems to cook to hold in the souls, right? Uh, if you don't have one, then you don't have one? I don't no, know. I'll do the spirit jar anyway. That's not a... Out of character, I think that's like a level 5 spell right it's there. A, it's a high level spell, yeah. Yeah, it's super strong. Super high. <clears throat> I said, well... Mm, nothing we could do. I get, um, Vic, uh, you might want to go wake up Mitch and see what he can I do to fix this. I wouldn't suggest that. Why not? What time uh, is it, John? Um... Judging by Udo Fire, it's probably about noon. Yeah. I'd say just uh, when he wakes up, just uh, have someone ask him. Because uh, I doubt he'll be more than uh, willing to do it if someone disturbs his rest with uh, the two beauties over there. One well, no, clearly is a dwarf. Guys, but... <laughs> I just <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> uh, fucking midget humper. Um, yeah, at least it wasn't half one. I say, but for now, we have to make sure everybody in here stays in here. I say, did anybody else leave last night? Uh, uh, a bunch of people. Yeah. This place was pretty much packed. Pretty much everyone was drinking absence, too. Yeah. I'd say uh, they're already pretty much uh, out of here if they swap bodies already. So you're telling Which me there's people did. with different bodies running around the iron side. Most likely. Uh, you're not worried about how everyone knows that there are thralls in here? Yeah, and how they have already found out about our hiding spot. Yeah, who brought him there? No idea. Yeah, I just stared yeah. daggers at uh, Vic. With my one eye. <laughs> no. You stared dagger at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just realized that Udo Fire was talking this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, that counts. so he was talking like this. Exactly. Like so, that. hey guys. <laughs> Don't worry, we understand. After seeing everybody make a fucking fool of themselves like last night, even if doing this, I would still be uh have the most dignity in the group. You guys all look really stupid. <laughs> I say I gotta go for a walk around town. Um. Can you guys make sure nobody leaves? Uh, oh, you're going for a walk? What? Somewhat of a larger issue than your, uh... Whatever you're about to do, because, uh, these kobolds literally disappeared. What? I followed their tracks, they went off in numerous directions and suddenly ended. Okay. That, that doesn't worry you at all? It worries me, but no more than my friend losing his soul to other people. Uh, I don't think he's gonna lose his soul. If you, his soul is uh, probably in here, and because he wouldn't have left. His soul. Is... Yeah, his the still cleric souls are probably in here because they wouldn't have chosen to leave. Yeah, but his body is on the run. I point yeah. to it here. Is yeah, it I say. Not? Yeah, that's uh, Ben, and Ben has to get to work. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here. I said, please don't agitate Ben. Excuse you, me, you, uh, you see Ragnar kind of trying to keep him calm. He's he's having issues. He's fidgeting. I say, uh, excuse me, is your name Ben? He nods. Says, yeah. I said, uh, well, I guess you <clears throat> see what's happened to your body, right? Says, so, yeah. I say, this is all a magic trick and illusion, so you can. Calm down. This is all just magics that can uh, 
Once the point to Mitch, once he wakes up, he'll fix you right back into your body. He says, so I am out of my body? Uh, you start freaking out again. Ragnar, sorta. give me a check. Yeah. What kind of check? Uh, FLX, to wrestle him down. I say, Ben, Ben, Ben. Okay, You're in a much uh, better body. Oh, that does not help. Shut up. So you're in a body that doesn't it. age. Yeah. So uh, Steel Cleric jumps up and Ragnar just tackles him to the ground. Yeah. I say, just calm down, breathe, if you can. <laughs> and just wait until he wakes up, and then this weird dream will be over. He's he's still freaking out. Yeah. Say, say I'd uh, slap him, but so I pick up the the drink, the absinthe, and I say, here, look. How can you not say the... absinthe? I'll say uh, this this will help with the uh, the swapping process, but you have to drink it off. He says, he kind of looks, touches his face. I don't have a mouth. How can I drink? I say, no, no, it's just like pretend like you're putting yeah. it into your mouth. He starts I crying. <laughs> he starts crying? He, sta he starts make. you see his eyes kind of make that kind of shape. Like mm -hmm. he's sad. There's no water coming out, of course. But you so, still hear him start whining and... So I go to help <laughs> him drinking this. Cool. Uh, you, st you start pouring it on his face and... Mm -hmm. Nothing happens. So you gotta open your mouth. <laughs> he says it is open. I say, am I am I hitting it? Am I getting it in the hole? So I don't know. <laughs> okay. I feel like going down your throat. <laughs> All right. So I say, Vic, you should stay here until your uh, <laughs> bestest buddy wakes up, and uh, you know, since you guys have the best relationship. I say no, no, no. I I really have to go around town real quick. I, it should take me more than fifteen minutes. Clerics. Because once Mitch leaves here, he probably won't come back on his own accord. I said, bruh. <laughs> bruh. It'll take like 15 minutes. And if he wakes up and leaves? He wakes up, you just uh, talk no. to him to the situation? He, he doesn't. I can already tell. If he's anything like you, which he is, he's not going to care. Only you know how to deal with yourself, and that there is yourself. Yes, super version. So it'll take like 15 minutes. <laughs> what, so I will accompany you? you then to make sure it only takes 15 minutes. I said, but who's going to stay here just in case? You got one, two, three people who might possibly try to run out. Norian and Ragnar can't Nor handle it so. I think Norian is more than capable. Norian, are so you cool with that? I look the other way. <laughs> Alright, so I will go with Vic then. Cool. Cool, Udafire and Vic Camros jump down and go out, go into town? Yep. Cool. Uh, meanwhile, Ragnar and Norin, what are you two doing? I'm just gonna keep uh, having <laughs> Silveric, or Ben, uh, try to keep him as calm as possible and just to ask about him to keep his mind off of the what's happening. Cool, cool. Uh, Norin, um, you can see from where you are that, uh, Mitch is kind of blinking his eyes open. Oh, it's groovy. Hold it. Uh, Just left. I was about to turn back, too. But now I can't, because it'll look like I'm metagaming. Fuck. Yep. It's a shame. So I think, you know, heck. But, <clears throat> right, um... Yeah, I'm sure it'll reach, what, 10,000 <laughs> freaking miles? <laughs> no, no, I just, I just... Ah, never mind. Um, now do these people have weapons? Ah, uh, yes. They do. Cool. And is this? Uh, Note that those guys are all standing up, though. Okay. Is this a uh, closable? Closable? Yes. <laughs> is it like no? Or can, it's, or just a table? it's a it's a table with weapons on it. Just a table. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Um, I wait here. For <coughs> just go wait for him. Well, if I go talk to him, he's gonna wake up uh, faster. Cool. Uh, Ragnar, what do you do? Um. Continue yeah, just, just to talk to yeah, him. Continue keeping him calm, but I also notice that Norian is just walking around. Uh, what, what's wrong, man? That's <laughs> why uh, so I point to me. I turn around. Oh, he's waking up. Yeah, um, why don't you go talk to him? I'll just keep Ben company here. Um, shouldn't we wait until he, you know, 
totally wakes up, gain a little more time? Uh, I guess, but if he finds out this happened, he, I don't know, he might be pissed. I don't know. Didn't, didn't he do this? Apparently, but I, I, I myself wasn't aware of what was happening. I don't remember, I'm sorry. I kind of smile, though, remembering the good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a blackout, so all his memories are, are fake and the ones exactly. you put in there. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, outside, uh, Udafar and Vikanros, what are you two doing? I'm just following Vic. Wherever Vic, what are you doing? Besides, you know, try thinking that you can't go back inside because of the metagame. Yeah, game. right. I was so... <sighs> God damn it. Um... I'm just gonna walk to the gates of town and just look, observe people. Cool. Uh, everyone seems fine. They seem normal. Uh, it's business as usual. As usual? Yeah, business as usual. Almost suspiciously as usual. <laughs> so, so I wave over to Lana. Cool. Uh, you see her? She's actually um, with a couple of people right now. She's uh, has your merchants. Uh, she's, she's doing her she yeah. she's bartering with some people. Uh, she you see her, she looks at you and she just it gets angry, shakes her head, and she goes back to the other people. I said quite a girl you had there. <sighs> I've heard of poor souls in the West that have it worse. I say <sighs> everything seems normal for the most part. So I just wanted to make sure people weren't looking down at their bodies and being like, holy shit, in the middle of town. I'm out. a girl. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I say, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Anything? Want to show me those kobolds? I say, all right, let's do it then. So I just kind of, for example, uh, Diego starts trailing just a random one. Cool. Uh, you, you see, do you want to go in the direction the S star or the direction it ended? Uh, the direction it's, well, it ended at the well, right? Um, no. Oh, wow. Uh, let's say, uh... Cause that, that, that one, that there's, that, that one in particular was, you'll find Norian's footprints and things like that if you want. Search that one. Because Norian, mm -hmm. Norian captured him and chased him down. Yeah, let's say that one. His footprints, cool. then. So I'm going to follow where they... Yeah, uh, so it, it definitely, uh, at a certain point, gets picked up off the ground, most likely by uh, by Norian. Uh, as you look, you uh, you see it actually comes from the top of a roof. That's at least where it starts. You can clearly see uh, scratch marks where I climbed down. So it looks like these cobalts are... Uh, hired. Hired? Do they have to be hired? We would hire kobolds. Well, why would kobolds be down here? There's a bunch of... They have sleeves. Why would the cord hire kobolds? I said it was a cord. I said, uh... Alright, fair enough. Uh, so the what building were, did it climb up from? That was just some random house. Mm. I say, you said it disappears? <coughs> Oh, not, th uh, not this one. This one started from the roof. I show him another pair of tracks that you said that disappeared, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You, you look, you see they appear to just uh, at some point vanish. They just stop, uh, as if we stopped walking. Yeah. I see, this is weird. Maybe they're climbing onto buildings. Uh, is it a building near where these tracks stop? Or no? Middle of nowhere. Yeah. I say the only reason they could be here that I could think of and not hire or anything is for mining. Cobalt's like to mine. Again, the cord would probably kill anyone from that tribe. But they typically, you know, run around in big tribes. Yeah, that's why I think this is super weird. I say it can't be too far. There's there's a, a clan anywhere around here. It can't be too far. I could go around the mountain. Check. That would be days. Yeah. That would be so many days. Only place I could think though is uh by where uh the 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 the, 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 the what? 
where the oh, last no, not the I was thinking uh, where the... That would also be another place. Maybe they came from the caves. I was thinking where the citrine was stationed at. Did we ever search the citrine's old place? Mm -mm. It's mostly yeah, messed up. I said we need somebody who can speak to Reconic. I said, let's go back. Uh, we have to... We have to talk. This, that's really weird. Cool. Uh, so you guys walk back then? Mm-hmm. Sploosh. I love how the music just... The music is up in... Okay. No, yeah, you're fine. You guys return. How do you see everybody's still in time? Your same case. He woke up, but he didn't leave the year. So, John, out of game, do I have like 50% off on everything with Lana? Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Cool. So, I'm going to hop over here. Cool. Yep, you can clearly see stuff. Um, at Ragnar. Uh, it's at this point you you uh, realize that you accidentally picked up the wrong thing on your back. You're supposed to grab your um, what do they call it? The your harness to the last people on the back, but you actually picked up a backpack. Oh damn it! Uh, whose backpack is it? Uh, you yeah. You look inside. You just see scroll upon scroll. And I am gonna go back there. Oh wait, I still have my armor on. Um. Wait, I stop him. Yeah. Is there a scroll to speak uh, languages and stuff? languages. That is still stealing, and that is against the law, and you know... I'm not I'm going to steal it. Thing. Now, I'm, I'm just going to say, Ragnar, it's not stealing if A, they would have given it to you, or B, they should have given it to you. <laughs> I, uh, remind them of my hand. Swoop, got chopped off for exactly doing that. You know, I yeah, came I, over here. I'm not here. gonna do that, no. I, I, I came have... over here. Okay, uh, Vicamros, you're over there. through that bag. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Can I, I slap away that mage hand? You can, you can clearly, Vicamros, you can clearly see the harness down there. And you, as you look back, you can see them messing with the bag. But, um, as you kind of turn, you, Mitch kind of, uh, kind of gives out a small groan as his eyes blink. So I'm gonna mage hand the harness. Okay, leave the back, leave the back. <laughs> no. And yeah, I'm gonna mage hand the harness, stand right here on the edge, and drop it off right there. Can I give the scroll backpack back to him and just like quietly whisper over to him, like, put it back? Yeah, no, if you give it back to me, I know exactly what to do with it. Do just not put steal it. Next it. to the hand. I put it next to the hand, and I'm telling him, do not steal anything, or else I will come over there and hurt you. Okay, you, so I figured out. As you guys hand. scream, and the steel cleric <laughs> goes, what are you guys yelling about? So I pick <laughs> up the bag, and I just kind of, uh, not even secretly, I just chuck it right there. Cool. Cool. And I come here, and I just sit down. No. Yeah. Uh, Mitch kind of looks to you and says, okay, you're a lot cooler than I thought. This is a pretty sweet house. <laughs> They rise and shine, sweet. Oh, no. I say, what's the worst part about waking up at a party in your own house? Um, he looks around as I was gonna say the mess, but probably yeah. the gigantic tentacle monster you didn't realize <laughs> was watching you the whole time. I said I was watching him, then. but yeah, the mess is pretty bad. I say, don't worry, I had my bitch clean up the mess. He says, but, good, as he, you see him grab for a bottle of Abflitz and attempt to, with his arms still around one of the girls, attempt to drink it. No, that would have been the other I eye. said, whoa, Mitch, 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 we have a problem before you start indulging and intoxicating yourself. He says, what's that? I say, you know how we were, uh, you know, playing uh, Swap the Soul? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he says, I vaguely remember. I say, yeah, well, we got, we have a small problem. What's There's that? a bunch of people with the wrong souls inside the wrong bodies. You see, that is a pretty small problem. I say I was hoping you could pitch in and helping the cleaning of this mess. 
Yeah. He kind of looks around and says, wait a minute, wasn't this a secret base? Yeah, kind of. He kind of gives her the laugh. Not the shed. Yeah. Not anymore. I'm gonna have to install a trapdoor. Good call, he says. <laughs> I say, but what do you think? You need to put the souls back where they belong? It says, uh, yeah. Cool. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a soul. Belongs to Ben. You could do whatever you want with that. He says, who's Ben? Uh, this dude and that dude. Uh, they kind of wave. <laughs> <laughs> I say we need Mokthar and Rickamros placed in this body, Ben taken out of this body, and thrown somewhere into this plane, and then her killed, her killed, her killed, <laughs> killed, her killed. <laughs> He kind of gives out a yawn and says, yeah, sure, okay. And, yeah, that'll be it. We're not listening to that, are we? No, no, um, we can't hear that. Far too quiet. Hello? I say, uh... Oh, thanks, bitch. Really appreciate it. That's no problem. Thanks for the crash. Right. Yep. Cool. And the camera sleeps. Mm. Cool. I say, guys, the mess has been taken care of. I still see Ben here. I was just the same exact thing. Ben's c still crying at this point. Please don't kill me. Please, I... I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> We're gonna put you back into your body and you're gonna see your family again. Okay. Peasant. <laughs> what was that, Nick? Fuck more to Norian. You say I'm, uh, Everything's been fixed. Temporarily. I say, I uh, this used to be a secret base, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Why would I you did her... know, I came here alone. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did you bring him here, asshole? You brought a dirty cobalt into oh. our secret base, Nori. Well. Giving away our location. Why? Yeah, the cobalt doesn't have to leave here alive. That's not the only... Ah, uh, you guys hear the gog! <laughs> <laughs> say, holy shit, there's nobody to speak You understand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I say wait. No wait, John Fro, he actually bacocked? Uh, he bacocked, but it was probably because of the steel clerk was we're trying to escape again. Uh, I was about to say. Can I, can I actually ask Ben if he knows Draconic by any chance? He shakes his head. Uh, huh. This is terrible. So I come over here and I pick up some food. Cool. Ah, uh, you can um, see it's still plentiful. It's as if it remakes itself each time. Every time, yeah. And I feed the other uh, cold. Ah, <coughs> uh, it kind of pecks at the food. <laughs> Pecks. And in my universe, these things, cobalts are essentially giant chickens. <laughs> awesome. Which um, their and, and their tactics represent that. Fucking huge ambushes and they peck at you. Essentially, they ambush and then run immediately. <laughs> Fucking cobalt, dude. Are you serious? Dirty motherfucker. And I have nothing to communicate with him. Which is absurd. So basically, if we actually trained our chicken way before, it would have made it made him a, a cobalt. I I seriously doubt that. You would need <laughs> you require a blood transfusion or a blood uh, oath to make you mad with a dragon. He can make this cobalt his pet chicken. I up. say um, we should let him go. Why? Ah, uh, and follow him. I say, yeah. Yeah, I like that idea, but after this mess is cleaned up. Like, for real, not the cameras saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I say, come on, a wizard always sticks to his word. Aha. Uh -huh. You're not a wizard. <laughs> I, said, I, uh, I say, I also uh, remember that you aren't technically a wizard, are you? I say, nope. I am not. I sold my soul to the devil. That explains so much about your magical abilities. Say <laughs> it was a weak demon. But he indulged in slaving and other... Oh, no, no, I was talking about you dropping out of the school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mitch was going on and on about it last night. 
<laughs> That's typical. At least I got a proper education. Like some people who just slave their lives away. Oh ho ho, we've got you there. <laughs> I really did something swim. myself. I yeah. say, um, when this problem gets fixed, I guess we could head out yeah. and just start eating. The camera's just taking handfuls of uh, cheesy crackers. <laughs> cool. So you guys just gonna hang around for uh, him to wake up? For him oh, to, yeah. I guess, get up and solve your problems for you? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go out and go get my bow. You already have a bow. No, my long bow. Oh, that's right. I'm ready today? Oh, yeah, we'll be ready today. Yeah. Yeah, so I will bid everyone a farewell and go pick up my things. Oh, shit, that reminds me. Noren, you gotta stick here. I'm gonna go get something real quick. Okay. <laughs> I can't <laughs> just let him go. I follow Udo out. Cool. Norian, Ragnar, you're with the steel clerk again. And the chicken. I'm just shaking my head and giving a big sigh. That's pretty much it. <laughs> you're fault for the cold ball, man. <laughs> He's terrible. Okay, so uh, meanwhile, outside, uh, what are Udafar and the cameras doing? I'm just gonna go to the forge and go pick up my silvered bow. I silvered, I mean my steel bow. There we go, iron, but yeah. Yeah, iron. I'm going to the uh, tailor and picking up the tabards. Cool, you, you both do so. You know you didn't get that one from all that, right? Huh? You didn't get my dog's measurements. <laughs> yeah, I did. So, as me and Udo meet on the road back to the well, I give him the uh, <laughs> tabard for his dog. Yep. You see if it fits. It looks like it fits surprisingly well, or well. Yeah. I look at them and I say, uh, and this is... It's, uh, it's a tabard. You, as you look at the tabard, you can clearly see the words, the Champions Guild, uh, embroidered on them. As well as a picture of a chalice that kind of looks like it turns to a fist. Alright, that's actually not too bad. <laughs> I'm glad you listened to me on the name. Yeah. Yeah. And so I put that um, on my falcon. Yeah. Uh, you could you could see on the falcon is there's a little asterisk that says former heroes guild. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I go back into the well and you know hand Nori and shit. Put Ragnar's cool. on the table. Just force this one on the steel cleric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not part of us. You guys are now officially branding. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't say I put mine on or my dogs, but yeah, no, I put they'll, they'll just ass, they'll just assume that you're either not part of the group or yeah. I'm just putting that stuff in my bag. Let me actually put it in my bag. So we'll hold a meeting. Whoever isn't wearing the tabard um, could leave the guild. Um, I say I'd so, yeah. rather not let our enemies know that. But once we go into the town, sure, I wear this this uh this thing. Yeah, if I'm wearing mine, dumb proud like. Like a homo with a colorful flag. I'm just swinging it around. Right. I may put it on, but, you know, under my armor and stuff. <laughs> like a bitch, yo. Yeah, the, the whole point of the tabard is it goes oh, over yeah. your armor. Yeah, I it's know. over your armor, dude. Come on. Don't burn. Yeah. Okay. You, you see that there's uh there's ones that are meant to go over shields. <laughs> One for Ragnar's shield. <laughs> if Norian puts his under his armor, then I'm going to put mine under my cape. My brand new, mm, double stitched, nice and fixed cape. Yep. Yeah, I have a new cape too, so. <laughs> but yours yeah, doesn't have the Champions Guild written on the back. So I say, uh, Udo, you don't want it? Embroidered in glittering stones. I said, did I say that? <laughs> so, well, you seem to not be uh, representing 305. <coughs> so just because I don't want to wear this <coughs> thing right now doesn't mean I don't want it. For sure, but I'm pretty sure your dog wants to wear it. I'm pretty sure he does not. You should have definitely uh gotten um no armor with the insignias. Huh. The fuck you think I'm made out of eight hundred gold? So I shoot a look over at Mick, is he still drinking and falling asleep? Uh Mitch? Yeah. Yeah. He's oh, doing wow. exactly that. Doki. I say, well, there's two ways we can go about this. I take the bottle from him, slap him in the face, wake him up. Or result to you being uh decimated. <laughs> or we wait for him to wake up. Oh not sure off. I mean time's ticking. Time is in fact ticking. Uh, 
I'd say it should be oh, fine. Okay. Uh, he will do it probably when he wakes up. Oh. Okay, um, what are we gonna do after he wakes up and, you know, everything's fixed and shit? What, what are we gonna do? Um, I, well, I have my things. I'd... I'd say let's follow this kobold. Oh, yeah. Okay. And by us, I mean me and you guys just, uh... Can you say? Sure. John, so I come over here and look for any more bottles of, uh... Absinthe? Give me one second, please. Uh, you do not see any absinthe. Just the one he has in his hand? Yep. Is he unconscious? Uh, partially. Hmm, let's see my spells. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> hmm. But no. So I'm just gonna kinda sit here, kinda lay back. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna lay down. Cool. I got the itis. Now, yeah, uh, it looks like Rick Hamros and, uh, and, uh, Mokhtar start waking up. Whoa. So I get up. Okay, how was the party? They kinda shrug. They say, I don't really remember it. So you plan on sticking around? He says, "Why? Well, I I assume we should go to. Uh, you, we're we're still looking for that uh, orb, right?" Uh, I say, yeah, yeah, but right now we kind of have an issue. If you haven't noticed, they they kind of raise their eyebrow and then they look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe we should fix this. <laughs> I say neither of you would have to speak draconic, huh? Yeah, uh, they shake their heads. Hmm. Uh, do I see Faye or Anna coming back to life? They are, they are both deeply asleep. At this point, holding one another. Ooh. So I kind of motion, uh, the <laughs> two. Like, yo, check it out. Uh, they high five. <laughs> yeah. Why am I about to do this? No, I'm not. What am I talking about? So yeah, wait for time to pass. If they want, we could throw dice or something. Well, uh, they'll probably just go hang out by their... their body. Yeah, that's fine. They jump out. Sub team, they, they yell out. Ah, uh, not much. Who's this guy? They look the kobold. Uh, I believe that is uh, a cobalt that Norian found on his adventure. Yeah, he's a um, lurking outside. New pet? <laughs> uh, kind of. And uh, they kind of start examining their body, interested in the in how it's formed. Uh, this is Ben. I introduced them to him. He's still struggling. And, uh, yeah. They kind so, of each, uh, each give a wave. How is uh, the cameras over there doing with Mitch? Uh, they said that he's not doing anything. You, you look over and you can clearly see he's just sitting there. Uh, of course. Ah. Uh. Welp. Welp, indeed. <sighs> yeah. Norin, yeah, so far. <laughs> yeah, I just come over here, I grab a chair, and I, I sit somewhere over here. Cool. Yes. Uh, this appears to be some sort of clock. Uh, you assume because it's got the, you know, the large thing of the earth, and it's got a small sun rotating around it. Uh, in, in addition to a globe, it also appears, or a map, it also appears to be a uh, timer. Uh, a map, you said? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I take a better look at it. Is there anything interesting? Uh, it looks pretty much like the map you have. It's just a globe version. Cool. Well... <laughs> 
I look at it for a while, and then I look at the other side, see how Vic's doing. He's dead. Vic is, I'm assuming, just gonna stand there. Just sitting there. Yep, Vic's just sitting there. Uh, Alright. Tell me what uh, I have. I'm a little. A couple hours probably gonna pass here, unless anyone wants to do anything. A couple hours. Norian, next time you get the chance, cripple hit the, ca the cameras instead of Udo Fire. So you guys want me to wake him up? <laughs> it's all on you so, guys, man. Oh, Lord. I, I turn around and nod. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Mitch. Rise and shine, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, He's... I'm pretty sure that dwarf next to you has herpes. <laughs> ah, that's fine. I, I know a dwarf who's got, uh, <laughs> who's got healing abilities. I say, I know a dwarf that can give you double AIDS. True story. Uh, is it get from you? Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh god, only if you got the reference, John. But double yes. AIDS? Double AIDS, yeah. It's some guy in my session got AIDS and tried to cure it, rolled a one, got double AIDS. Excellent. Now continue. Cool. Oh yeah, I saw my gas up there. Uh, he's late for school. He still shoots us. He says I'm on vacation. I said, I know you're on vacation. And this is a pretty sweet vacating spot, right? Yeah. This is not bad. I'm saying you like to keep vacating here, right? It says I don't see why it stopped. I say this place could be yours. All yours. Mm, I'm pretty sure it is already. So, yeah, you're funny. I said, plus, why aren't you with uh, your twins? It says, oh, they're fine. They're, they're what? They're fine. So do you know where they are? He kind of raises his head up and he looks so you can see them both on the top bunk. He says, yeah, they're right there. I said, well, if you're not going to wake up, do you mind if I take a scroll out of the bag? I need a scroll. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you want. Right. I record that, by the way. Come over here, look for a scroll of Comprehend Languages. Cool. Uh, give me an investigation check. And then Arcana check. <laughs> cool. Um, you're really good with uh, Arcana, but your searching's a little bit off. Um, mm -hmm. takes you a little while, but eventually you find one. Cool. Whee! <laughs> so I eat the scroll. No okay. way, that's not how it works. I <laughs> I pop the scroll, yeah. and I'm gonna come over to this cobalt. Okay. Draconic, I say hello. You can't speak Draconic. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Fuck. So I go back and get another scroll. Okay. You now have you now have two scrolls. All right. Double the scroll. No, I'm kidding. I uh, I'm gonna fuck. How am, am I gonna get him to use the scroll? Tell him to read the damn scroll. Can't you use it on him? I, can I use it on him? I'm pretty sure. Not to I, my knowledge. Yeah, I don't think you could use it on them. Yeah, you can't cast the uh, comprehend languages offensively. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I put scrolls up to his eyes. Okay. Say read, motherfucker. <laughs> he could. He, he should be able to read this, right? Bugak. Try again. <laughs> Bugak. One more time. Bugak. Are you talking about the kobold or me? <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> there um, is no. This fucking asshole. So I, I raise up a piece of food. Put the scroll to his face. Read it, you son of a bitch. Big hawk. <laughs> you see him start nipping at the food. So I put the food next to the scroll. Cock, motherfucker. He continues going for it. <laughs> so I, I, I put the food to my mouth like I'm gonna eat it. Uh, okay. Gawk! <laughs> so then I shove the scroll in his face. Uh, okay. Roll damage. <laughs> what? No, no. I uh, put the scroll in his face. He, he still doesn't seem to know what's going on. Yeah, I still can't read it. This is crazy. 
Besides, there's not really language on the scroll. It's just symbols and arcane stuff. Man, so I'm coming over here. Putting the scrolls back in for a scroll that allows them to speak all languages. Cool. You find them. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. You again find none. God damn it. I put the two scroll bags and I come over here. I say, Mitch. Ugh. He says, Ugh. <sighs> I guess old habits die hard. So, how come I was always the one to wake up early? And I still fucking failed. He says, I don't know. I say, You gotta get up before I wake you up. Uh, you see him snap his fingers. You up? Ah, uh, you can't hear yourself anymore. Yep, this fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and conjure a little bit of cold water. <laughs> you can conjure a bucket, or you, <laughs> unless you have the ability to conjure water, you can't conjure water. You can conjure a bucket, that's about it. Conjure a bucket and drop it on his face. That's yes, true, but a rock or a sword or anything. <laughs> so I would be able to summon some uh, minor water elementals to blast him? Um, sure, why not? I don't know, I have a feeling that would uh, result in, in devastation. It. Yeah. I remember that any talking component mm -hmm. while in here is going to have issues. Mm -hmm. So I just, just start poking him in the face. You start poking him in the face? He's, you know, struggling, he's putting his hand out there trying to stop you. Just keep poking him in the face. <laughs> he continues to not enjoy that. Okay. So I come over here, and, uh, I start poking Faye and Anna. Um, they, they get pretty angry pretty fast. You see they wake up? Um. I just want to poke them until they wake up. Okay, um, what's your AC? Fourteen? Uh, Fourteen, cool. That's what it says. Uh, that's accurate. Then as you duck, they throw a, uh, a big a, a bottle of absinthe at you. Annabelle does anyway. So I'm going to assume she's up? Uh, she's not really up up. That was more like an instinctual yeah. reaction. So I'm going to try again. This time ready for the next flying bottle. Okay, so you just start poking her again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She is super cheap. You see her kind of look and she just goes, and you don't hear anything. Because yep. she can't speak. So is she up? Uh, she's up enough. Alright, cool. So I point over to Mitch and the ugly fat dwarf he's sleeping with. And they I look to her. She, That's she better than you. You're, are you saying that? Cause yeah, but like kind of... I know she can't hear me. I lip yeah. to her. You lip to her, she kind of shrugs, says that she's, you, you kind of seen her lip, she's saying, I don't know what you're saying. So I get my finger and I make a little circle, and then I get my index finger and I put it in and out of the circle. I come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> and I point at the dwarf, and then I point at Mitch, and then I kind of put like my finger in my mouth, kind of gagging, and point at her. Meanwhile, back over here... <laughs> You're all watching this happen. That was very, uh, nice. <laughs> you can clearly see that Rick Hanrose is trying to proposition the twins. He's trying to go for a threesome? Essentially, as far as you can tell. That's okay. <laughs> he wants Mitch and Ragnar sloppy seconds. That's up to him. Okay, the camera, so back to you. <laughs> Any reaction from the twin? Um, besides the one smashing the bottle and getting ready to stab, not really. Um, is that the one that goes with the scrolls or the enchants? You couldn't possibly tell. So I pick up the bag of scrolls. Okay. And I take, like, a few steps back. She, just, they're both... They're, she, she'd definitely freak out regardless. Okay, cool. Yeah. Even if it was her sister's bag. So I'm moving over here. No, she would no but as you grab for it, she would grab for it too, and you're about here then, struggling for it. So so she's awake. She's yeah, I suppose she's awake. 
All right, good. So I let her take the bag. Like I'm, I'm pulling real hard, and then yeah. as she's pulling even harder, I just let go. Yeah. Uh, nothing comical happens. Damn it! I wanted her to fall off the edge. No. Oh, this game's stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so then I point over to Mitch because they have to have a special way of waking him up. They shrug. They don't know what you're talking about. You're this dumb bitch. That's they it. can't hear you, retard. I drop my pants. You drop your pants? I drop my pants. Okay. Uh, both of them shocked. I guess it's just one of them that's shocked. Uh, she's gonna go for a stab. Yeah, I'm dumb far from her. I'm like five feet away. Oh, she moves up. That's cheating, yo. Okay, uh, roll for initiative, I suppose? <laughs> she wants to fight? Oh, uh, well, considering what you're doing and that you're pantsless. Nah, I have underwear. Right, I'll roll my initiative, fuck it. D20. Okay, uh, I take about four, three points of damage. Wait, she doesn't have to roll initiative? Oh, she rolled initiative, yeah. Yeah. She got 22. Oh. No, wait, that was her attack. Yeah, that was just her attack. Oh, okay. Uh, what's my thing? I think it's 6. 15. Oh, 15, 15. You uh, got higher. Yeah, because you got a kit. Okay, uh, go for it. Uh, if, this, back up. if there were sound, there would be a battle music. I'm going to pull my pants back up and move back and put my hands up like I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, she starts pointing towards that way and screaming. What is she saying? How Did you read lips? Exactly. I do the whole, like, I can't hear you type of thing. <laughs> okay, uh, so she's pointing that way, and uh, she's probably going to go for another stab. Hmm. So I still have all my movement. All right, so this is what's going to happen. Uh, seeing all that, if she can see me, I just point to her to come here. Uh, she does not. All right, cool. So I'm going to come up right about here. Okay. And um, uh, give Mitch a tap on the face and point at his crazy raging whore. Um, he sees it, and uh, he's gonna try to push stop to it. He, he first of all, of course, stops in silence. Mm hmm. Alright, cool. <clears throat> he kind of yells out for Faye to stop. Good morning, Mitch. He yawns, says, What'd you do, Vic? I asked you for a scroll. <laughs> and they weren't, they weren't cool with that. Was, okay, whatever. So you gotta get up now though for real. Ugh, no. I say I'm sorry, Mitch, you don't have a say. He kinda of looks to you angrily, his hands rippling with eldritch energy. I say you're in Mikasa, bro. It says and I say all I need you to do is one simple thing, and then you can sleep here, drink, abstinence, incest, and fuck bitches all you want. He sighs and says, "What?" I just need you to swap some souls. Uh, he says that takes a while. No. Oh, be quick. I'm pretty sure you can do it fast, right? I mean, unless you're a little rough on the edges. He says Which rituals. Rituals take time, fool. Yeah, like ten minutes. Okay. He says not this one. See so how long does this one take? It's gonna take at least an hour. I say, better start now. Sooner or later. He says, no, that doesn't apply to me. I say, what applies to you? Nothing. And you remind me of a certain person. She kind of laughs. Always drunk. Well, I guess it runs in the... I was about to say family, and I kind of stopped myself. Yeah. You see him kind of uh, frow his eyes at you. I say, either way, I need you to do this. He says, I'll do it later. I send you to an <sighs> It's gonna take a while. I say, it's fine. You guys Ooh, do realize yeah. that the Steel Cleric can't play, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, even if he did put it in there, he'd just be hanging around. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just want to do it. <laughs> He'll do it in time. Will he actually do it? I don't know. I can't actually guarantee that. Exactly. So that's why I'm getting him to do it now. No. Either way, it's going to take time. You have to do it once for each soul, so it would take about six hours. Alright, but if you tell me it's going to be done, okay, you can swear his uh, word on that. He doesn't, he doesn't believe in swearing. 
And I say, uh... He says he, he owes you nothing. Or he does, or that, he, Azareth says he owes people nothing. That he's not supposed to swear. I say, who's Azareth? He says you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell me you've gone all religious on me. He just sighs and says it's more like a philosophical thing. Oh my god, so have you read... You've read the books? Says, well, I guess it's, I was, I've been in school for a couple of years. Jesus. I've read a lot of books. What's happened to you? I expect you to... God damn it. So, uh, you should read the book called The Republic. Great philosophical book. If you can find it in your local library. A shrugs. I say, you're going to have this done for me? I says, I'll be done, sure. Get out now. Say, if Faye tries to stab my penis again, we're going to have some problems. He, says, he kind of looks to her and says, Faye, don't stab his penis. <laughs> I was hoping Faye would say something smart like, don't worry, it's hard to hit. Okay. God damn it, John, you're slagging on me. I say, uh, team, everything's okay. Did you yell this cross? You're shouting this <laughs> from wherever you are. Yep. I say, uh, Marla. You. And you. They, they kind of look to you and says, yes, Vic, at the same time. They say, you want to find this orb, right? It's what most important. He says, it's important to all of us. I say, of course. So you have to stay here and guard Ben. He says, well, I'm not going out like this. Perfect. Everything seems nice yeah. and fixed. They, uh, they tie him and keep him down. Say, feed this kobold every four hours. They say don't uh, tell us uh, what to do. Actually, we're, we're taking him, probably. <laughs> we're taking him? Yeah, we're gonna yeah. try. Alright, I'm gonna make him nice and fat right now and just give him all the food. Cool. You Shut keep giving him food until he's blowed. I could, could. <sighs> say, uh, uh, at this point, I'm gonna call a small bathroom break. Grab a drink, etc., etc. Nick has Crohn's disease. Good job, Rick. I didn't know what to do. So I just started throwing my penis. Because <laughs> that always works. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you should avoid that the next time. If I could have picked Nunu, I would have. But. <clears throat> shit happens, you know? When all else fails, whip your penis up. Except that it almost ended that okay for you. So, so how do you guys like the tabards? They look, they look sexy, right? Guys? <laughs> guys? Oh, we were just shaking our heads in <laughs> disappointment at you. <laughs> What do you mean? I went through so much work to get the design done. I had to find the perfect guy to make them. You know, when this whole uh, ring ceremony comes along and we all unify as the Champions Guild, we all have to be wearing this tabard. I didn't tell you guys about the ceremony, did I? No. Mm -hmm. Well, I planned a ceremony at the arena, all the way at the tip of the iron set, where we will be presented with the rings of the Champions Guild, and we will connect the rings one between the other and we will officially be named the Champions Guild and known throughout the lands as the Champions Guild. So you're sending a whole bunch of, bunch of birds with messages to every town so everyone yes. knows us or what, what's happening? How are you, How's everyone going to know about us now? Birds, messengers, carriers. You know, for a small fee we can get our name out there. Do we want to do that though? Yes, of course, we need a worldwide recognition. Either way, I've already paid and scheduled it also. Alright, but as as a champion slash hero, it, our duty is to help. We're not, we're not in this for glory. We're just in it to help others. Yeah. People have our name and number so they can call us to help them. I, yeah, I would think this number anything. that you speak of. <laughs> <laughs> well, every wizard has this number programmed in their head, so when they, any other entity wants to do telekinesis, you call upon that, uh... I, I'm still waiting for that number. Alright, this is the number. 9-11. 
Write it down, don't forget it. Okay. And Norian's gonna type out something witty. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, seriously! <laughs> Has anybody else noticed the Medusa down here? That's... Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a Medusa. You know, I'm still a bit more worried about Cthulhu over there. Oh, I, I'm scared Cthulhu? of this thing. Oh. Those, <laughs> uh, we've seen a bunch of those things floating this around. Thing, this thing right here has killed our party more than that Cthulhu or Medusa ever will. <laughs> that thing? Norian? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to see you were pointing at him to know that you are talking about that. <laughs> Norian has done a tremendous amount of damage to his own party. But honestly, to, uh, to at the advice of the same memory keeps hurting over and over again. <laughs> Come on, nope. man. Hit me. It'll be a great idea. Are you drinking Coke or beer? Pepsi. Diet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Excuse me. Some people like to be thin. He said thin. Yeah. That's what I'm drink you know, no, I'm it's funny, Norian. Soda. You're always on to my back, and we have that maneuver, but you never hit me. I'm surprised. Go. Yeah. But Udo, he takes some time. I give you a wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm out. That no. person took the angry stuff. M remember that, uh, that uh, Norian's on your back, yeah. but Ragnar has your back. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but, by the way, uh, are you wearing the uh, harness now? Don't forget it. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Alright, so we'll go on the screen, group. Cool. cool, uh, just leaving this guy here, or? Uh, go to Oh, shit. No, we're, we're taking him. Cool. You, uh, I guess all of you go? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I will take you to the center. You guys are right here? Mm-hmm. Who the fuck's the wall? Where's my doggy? Ah, uh, he's around. There's no point having him right now. Alright, fair enough. Uh, where's the wall? Oh, the wall's actually there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. It just appeared? No, it's it's not there at all for some reason. Oh, that's fuck. glitchy. Yeah. Um... Cool. Uh, Udo? Yeah. So, I see someone wanna untie this portal? Sure. So I come up to uh, him. Well, of course, he doesn't have any weapons or anything else on him. Uh, not that you can see. We frisk him. Cool. Like, uh, kind of black yeah, you, yeah, you find a small dagger hidden on his body. Mm -hmm. Take it off. Cool. Oh, the wall just showed up. Uh, chuck it. No, actually, I'll hold it in my hand. Okay. And I will use that same dagger to cut his hands loose. Uh, it's not sharp enough. Wow. Uh, no, I, I'm just in time. Okay, cool. I just want to pat him on the head when you cut off his hand or cut off, <laughs> cut the <laughs> rope off his hands. I want to give him a piece of food, remind him how much we took care of him, and let him go on his own. Cool. Okay, so you just let him go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna follow. We gonna follow. No, cool. just, just let him go. Yo, what? No, no we're gonna I, follow. I'm gonna follow him. Ah, just let him go. Now listen to Vic. So the moment this dude starts walking off, I'm trailing behind him. Gawk. Funk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> you see that? He ran right towards me. He says, you, pet. you have a pet, Kobold? Yes, said, we're training we're him! Yeah. He says, well, monstrous creatures like that are illegal here. Oh my god, can <clears> you guys <throat> bring them back? We'll get rid of them. They, uh, take they ground by a tail and say, sorry, we have to take this to Hum. To Hum? He says, Champions Guild, eh, as he looks at your thing. 
say yes, Champions Guild. We'll make sure to tell him who uh, who was this pet, the owner of this creature was. You do that. Fucking homos. <laughs> okay, so what do you have to do now? That was so <laughs> That they failed so immediately. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you learn a lesson about letting it loose inside of town? It wasn't in town. Yeah, it was still in town. This is just the main part of town. There's still a lot of houses for a mile. Houses for a while. Did not know this. <clears throat> yep. He said it like three times today. Yeah. Did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe I should have done this one. <laughs> You're, you've been drinking a lot of absinthe, it's cool. <laughs> Oh fuck, uh... What do you guys want to do now? Fucking okay, Udo, god damn scrub. <laughs> now way to go, Udo. Um, Everybody blame Udo. Yeah. <laughs> Take off another damn eye. Uh... So, uh, how far did the, uh, trail disappear? Um... It went both there, and then that's where the blood started. No, 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 not this one. Uh, oh, not mm -hmm. that one. Uh, that one went over here. Uh, it seemed to go onto the roof, but after that, you didn't really see anything. I said maybe we should check this house. I thought it was far from the houses. No, that one was off of a house. The <laughs> one that you grabbed came from on top of a house. I say if the tracks led to the top of the house and then nowhere else, and there's a chimney on the house. I mean, I ain't no rocket scientist. There's a chimney yeah, I mean, on the I, most of the houses I, around I, here. There's a cold place. I mean, the ones where the fire was uh, following and then that disappeared in the middle of nowhere. You want to follow that one? I don't know. I want, to knock, I want to knock on this door. Hey, you open it. Uh, you, you knock on it. Uh, after a small while, a, uh, a dwarf opens it up. I say, uh... He's, he's, uh, he's in his underwear. <clears throat> Normal. I've seen worse. I say, good afternoon, resident of the You've Empire. done. Uh, <laughs> do you speak Dwarvish? Yes. Cool. Yeah, uh, in Dwarvish, he, uh, says, what do you want? I say, uh, just curious. You wouldn't have happened to hear any, uh, noises or scratchings. Besides the knock on my door you're always doing. Get out of there. Good night. He closes the door. I say... Uh, why didn't we bomb this town again? Is this is a fallout. Hmm. Damn. That's right. I said maybe we could go talk to somebody... ...else about this. Cause uh, unless you can enough. pick up a dead trail... You said it was about noon today? Uh, yes. it, it'll probably be, it'll probably be about 2 a.m. now, 2 p.m. now, because of all the stuff you guys have been doing. Cool. Uh, when was the trial, uh, Remax's trial? Uh, tomorrow, about noon. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. Mm. Say, so, uh, so Mr. Udo, you think you can pick up a, dread t a dead trail? So, uh... I don't even think an orc can pick up a dead trail. That's Orcs terrible. aren't very good at tracking, so that's kind of a move. Well, you know, their orc. smell. So you're being a racist, so that's... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was kind of the whole point there. You monster. Yeah. I say, well, we have a buddy out to the east that hunts around here frequently. Never too late to go call in on old connections. Yeah, if, the, uh, if there's Kobo activity, he's bound to have noticed it. And. Is he dead? No. Huh? Did he die? Pretty sure he didn't die. Yeah, he just came for All a right. drink and bounced. Yeah, you got him thinking about another orc. Yeah, you're thinking about the one that we fucking slaughtered. And enslaved. Yeah. No. So I say, <laughs> I somebody wanna go try talk to him? 
I'll talk around town. Maybe Udo could try to see if you can find any tracks. If there's any magical foul play, you could call me. But I think that's our best bet if we want to find these kobolds. Because what would a large amount of kobolds be doing so close to a civilization? Unless they're planning for an attack. They're probably sizing up their, uh... Competition. Okay, um... So I tell Ragnar if he, wanna, okay, if he wants to come with me to the, um... House of this guy. Sure. I see you guys have no idea where it is. Not a clue. Where is it? <laughs> oh, I have a pretty simple direction on east. East side of a mountain. You guys ready to search for a couple days? <laughs> That's about much. back um, here. Sundown. Wait, yeah, uh, weren't there more people that left the uh, well that had strange souls on them? And I might have like, exaggerated the story a bit. Not scared, Vic. Oh, well, that worked. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, John? Hey, buddy. Uh, what is this? You can clearly see a snow owl uh, looking at you guys. Alright, so I'm gonna cast Fireball. Cool, oh. give me a roll. Oh, wait, I don't think I have Fireball. No. I'm going to cast. Speed. <clears throat> <clears throat> Magic Missile, level 4. Four? No, okay. Magic missile level two. Cool. Uh, roll damage. Are, are you serious? That'd wow. be a four. Are, are you joking? <clears throat> you know that I whiz, right? Poof! It explodes in eldritch energy. <laughs> and I keep walking to town. I walk up to Udofart. Did, did, so. he, did he just... I, I, I don't know what he did. <coughs> <coughs> well, I guess when we come back we'll find out what other things he magic yeah. missiles in the town. Uh. Why did he use magic missile level 2 and waste a spell for that too? Thank you, Leah. What a smart oh. wizard. Uh, you forgot to add 4 to that. It's 44 plus 4. Oh, that's right. It would have been 15. <laughs> Sorry? Really? Oh, well, um... What do we do? I don't know what you guys are doing. That's your job. <laughs> it was <laughs> nice to <for> you. <laughs> I'm gonna go around the... How long would it take to get to the band mines? Ah, uh, day. Mm. Damn, I really wish we had a better means of transportation. You need a horse? Uh, why don't we try buying a horse? Uh, are there any of the merchants selling horses? Or uh, you see a bunch of them have horses, and um, for the first time in a while, uh, if you asked around, you'd find that the stables are actually full. But no horses for sale. No, no horse traders. No, uh, a mountain would be the worst place to sell a horse. Nobody riding riding uh, around on a mountain is making possible. Plains are where you want to go to buy and sell horses. So I'm just gonna call my ram over. Okay, you do so. Yeah. So Bruh. <laughs> Ragnar, why do you leave me alone? <laughs> so uh, Udafire, it. If you want to, I guess you could, uh, or well, both you and I could go to the mountains if you really want to check it out. But why, why do you, why do you want to go check that place out? Because that would probably be where the kobolds are residing. I just want to check if there's any kobold tracks there, anywhere inside the caves or anything. Uh, with the ram, how, by how many hours is it to reduce the travel time, or <clears> just <throat> not at all? Oh, it's split in half. Okay. 
Especially considering you can now just go down slope step having to circle around them. Okay. <laughs> so... I propose, like, uh, I tell Hudafire if he does want to go down there, I could accompany him. I presume the ram is large enough for two people? Just barely? Nope. <clears throat> oh, just one person? Uh, well, if it was two humans, maybe, but if it was a big fat dwarf in heavy armor, that's hard to... Okay. Hard to rationalize. Hmm. Okay. If Fair you took enough. your armor off, you know, threw it to the ground. How just... about no? <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah I don't want my armor. Ah. <laughs> uh, wait. Uh. How many. No, no, no. Never mind. Hmm. Probably, yeah, probably breach it about 3 o'clock now. You can see the sun's on its, on its way out. I said I'll just uh, go ahead a bit. I won't go all the way to the mountains. Just see if any cobalt tracks are, you know, around this area. All right. So you guys uh, look for the house if you want. I doubt you'll find it. So you're, you're checking around the area or the around the mountain? Uh, around the area. Cool, cool. So you just start searching for more tracks, essentially. Yeah, going down the trail. About I'd say an hour down the trail. Cool. Like if you walk in the normal distance, I'm just looking for tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Side stuff. Yeah, uh, Ragnar, Norian, and Vikara, what are you three doing? Well... Mm. Exactly that. Pondering, well, currently. <laughs> conjuring? No, pondering. Yeah, you're conjuring thoughts. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like how you tried to play that one off. Um, yep, I sure did. I did it well. If nobody <laughs> else is gonna do anything... Oh, well. Pull up here and ponder up the chair, sit down, and just stare at her. <laughs> yeah. you, you see her squint, she's not a fan of you right now. I say, uh, do you know what happened last night? Uh, she says, I'm just, uh, uh, all I remember is taking a sip of absence, and then, uh, that you and Mitch and the girls were very adamant about me drinking. And uh, then it was a blackout after that. Yeah, I remember I'm um, uh, drinking, then, uh, oh yeah, waking up, and uh, seeing this. Up, point. up, 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 that's enough. <laughs> right there. Yeah, I say, but besides that, did you see anybody come in, leave? She says, I don't remember anything. Where the fuck does this shit have to happen to uh, us? us we both she says to, to you, this happened to me. She said us, bruh. I, uh, as bad as it seems for you, I... It seems pretty bad. I mean, I had my mask taken off, man. That... Pretty bad. I had to see your ugly mug. <laughs> I said I had to get down and dirty in places where... Whatever, that's not the point. Point is, you didn't see anybody, did you? She says, I didn't see anything. I see, uh, have you heard of kobolds in the mountain? She shakes her head. Kobolds wouldn't live here in the cold blood. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I said, if they were to live here, well. She said, they'd have to live inside the mountain where it's warm. And I said, do you think you'd know why they'd be here? Uh, I mean, they'd like to mine, but. She shrugs. She says, they're, they're more plains folk. I say, have you ever heard of mercenary kobolds? Uh, she shakes her head. Yeah. Well, is that, is that it? Do you want to buy something? Or can you get uh, it? yeah. Sure, um... I don't know, what do you got for sale? What's the special of the day? <clears throat> she, uh, she, she boasts the scroll. Hey, what is this? <coughs> she says, I don't know. It's magic. <laughs> so you took it from, uh, phone girl? Uh, she says it was sold to me, you idiot. Okay, sure. I said, what she want for it? says, um, 50 gold and I'll let it go. So can I look at it? She says it's fine. But if you so cast, I'm... if you break it, you buy it. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go <coughs> and see what it is. <coughs> What's that? 
I'm gonna go ahead and read it, see what it is. Okay, uh, give me a can or can check. Let's see what I roll. Yes. Uh, it looks like looks like fairy fire. Would I be able to write this into my scroll book? Into no. my book? My scroll book? No. No. I hand it back to her. I say this is a good one. Uh, I put it up to seventy-five gold. <laughs> Says whatever. Well, nice doing professional business with you. Take my chair with it. Put it up to this dude. <laughs> Ten. Cool. You see him? Says what was your, what was that? Is it looks between you two. <laughs> what? Says that. What was going on between you two? I want to buy a scroll, but Jew and me out. Shit, fifty gold. I say, either way, you have anything? I know you have to have something. Shit, the mountain's been busier than the birds and the bees. Uh, he says, yeah, I've been selling more than buying. I say, what's your top seller? Uh, he says, um, uh, love potion number five. It's just uh, wine, red, red and water. But uh, a lot of people like it. <laughs> Love potion. So, hmm. <clears throat> quite the hustler. He, 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 sh uh, he uh, shakes his head and says, "Yep." Says so anybody came up to you said, "Hey, this is wine with water." Um, he he says uh, a few times, but uh, I managed to get out of it. <laughs> so you got to be careful. How much are you selling it for? Uh, a couple of silver. So where are you getting the wine? He says, uh, with the new traders, it's pretty easy to get them. Good one? It's okay. Great. You want to point me over to this trader? If he's here anymore? Ah, uh, he says he hangs out in the bar. Cool. Take care, buddy. He gives you a nod. So I pick up my chair. <laughs> and walk over here. If anybody else wants to do anything, just <clears throat> interject. I'm just trying to stall. Ragnar Norian, what are you stalling for? <laughs> stalling? Are you, by stalling, do you mean you want to waste time? It's... No. Okay, because yes. you only. <laughs> oh, are you, you mean you want um, what's name to come back? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I assume he'll catch up to you on whatever adventure on, but sure. Uh, Norian, right, do you want to? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here to the blacksmith and. Um... Ask if they need any help. I could use the uh, exercise. Cool. If you guys just want to end the session early, that's fine. But it does seem like a waste of game time. <laughs> uh, you can assist them if you, if you like. Um, actually, roll 1d20 real quick. It's like you're dying from Ebola. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. Yeah, yeah, you you could definitely join them. Uh, there's a few of the people didn't show up today. Oh. Uh, a few of the apprentices, rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just um, I don't know what we should be doing here uh, until the Grimax is trial, which is tomorrow. So. Yeah. Uh, hum, you see, clearly, Hum uh, is clearly getting prepared. He's uh, he got this. Ma he's created a massive chain. And uh, along that chain, you can see axes and knives and things like that are attached to it. Jesus. Cool. Yeah, so I asked him, what's the, what's the strategy for tomorrow? Uh, I says, um, well, I'm just going to kill him. The chain, by the way, is probably about uh, 200 feet long at this point. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Okay. And uh, about every five feet is another weapon attached. Um, Does he look like I could use that weapon? <laughs> he says, uh, I'm more proficient than, than you think. <laughs> Agree, Nori. Nice. What? He says, if you want, you can start attaching uh, weapons to it. And he starts oh. pointing to some freshly red hot weapons that are being uh, poured out. Oh, sure. I hope not. Cool. You just want to do that for a few hours? Uh, I guess. Cool. Okay, um, I guess we want to talk to him about anything. We'll go to Ragnar. 
Uh, go for that game, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna... I am just gonna stand watch, and after a few moments of nothing happening, I'll just go back inside to the well and grab something to bite. Cool. Like Food-wise. Eat, eat to bite? Yes. Okay, uh, you do that. It was pretty fast. Yeah. You welcome back okay, out? Brought, brought some food to the ram. Cool. Yeah. Just stand guard by the well, making sure no one pops out. Um, the cameras. Back to you wasting time. Uh... I'm gonna come up to this wine vendor and be like, well, I'm gonna guess he's inside the actual town. Yeah. Probably do that, yeah. Girls wouldn't be there yet. Uh, oh, is, is this the halfling? Yep, it's a halfling. Yo, oh, my dog. So, so. He gives you a nod and says, Greetings, friend. Hi, how are you? Uh, I say, I hear you got some of the best wine around. He says, Dang straight, I do. Straight from the Blue Moon Ale House in Fallcrest. <sighs> Damn. I said, uh, when you were coming up here, you, had, you happened to pass by the, uh, the Goat and Gurney? Goat and Gurney? Ah, uh, he nuts. I said, did you buy or sell any wine there? Ah, uh, I bought a few extra. A few, I bought a case or two. I said, you mind if I get some of that and Blue Moon? Uh, he says, um, sure. If there's the Autumn Brisk, uh, special. Or it's a, it's a very hoppy ale. Like hoppy, actually. So, do you have anything darker? Uh, darker. He says, "Ah, someone's got the jungle fever." I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. He uh. He looks around. He finds a, a bottle of scotch. Nice. And some of that goat and gurney stuff, of course. Yeah. You want just a bottle or a case? I'll take a bottle. Cool. Uh, it's all going to cost you about hundred silver. I say, hey, would you have an app change? And I take out a mithril coin. He shakes his head. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, besides, a mithril coin would not be enough. Hmm. A mithril coin is about forty silver. Really? Yep. Or about four gold. Are you? Are, are, you, are you for real? Yep. Weren't they worth a lot more? Um, it is, but remember how small this coin is. Uh, it's not worth cool. forty gold. It's worth forty silver. I, I guess I. Which have is still a tremendous three. amount. I have three, so cool. that would be. Yeah. So can he give me the change for three? Uh, he takes the coins and says, "Nope." Yo. Pocket some. I said, "Let me get another one of these scotches." Ah, he throws a, a, a canteen on you, with you. Good, so I'm gonna strap that inside my cave, I'm gonna take these two bottles, and I'm gonna go outside. Um, quickly take a little swig of the scotch, and then open up the goat and gurney one. Give it a nice cool. little swirl and smell it. Yep, smells like iron. Huh. It's still some blood. <clears throat> Yep. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> bottle that up. Cool. And, uh... <laughs> this dude's still there fucking dying. I'm gonna come to the arena. Cool. You can see it being prepped for, uh, the thing. They're, um, they're, they're filling these up razors with oil. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're, you know, fixing small, uh, Small patches in the uh, actual arena itself, trying to yes. get the put the blood off. Do I see anything suspicious? Um, you can give me a perception or insight check if you like. Insight, insight, insight. What is my wisdom? It's not very high. And I think I'm trained in insight. I am. So it's a plus five. Oh shit! You don't notice anything that's suspicious. No foul play in the setup of the arena. No, you see. I haven't done this one in a while. I will uh, come over here. Cool. The library open? Um, this is a vault, and yeah, the vault. it's not open for you. <sighs> Still. Yeah. So who's at the door? That's uh, a dwarf. And 
Alright, when I try to walk in, he says... Uh, he says, uh, we will treat your kind. We will allow your kind in here. My kind? Like... Heroes. Mm -hmm. Heroes Guild. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and I kind of laugh. And I show him the tabard. He says, I don't care what you're calling yourselves now. After the fiasco with, uh, with Cantia. I say, I got something big on my hands here. And, you know. He says, let's see it. Say it involves our lives? Then he, he kind of laughs and shuts the door. Yo, wasn't he standing outside? No, nope, he opened the door. Just look at you. This guy's a fucking cunt. <laughs> He's a cunt. Fuck, see what Rafi does? Killing goddamn Cantia. Engineer. Greetings. Tip of the afternoon to you, sir. Uh, he says, not really. It's almost night, actually, as he looks towards the sun. It was in like three? Yeah, it's three, 3 p.m. winter time. That's almost oh, night. Yeah, it's winter. Blood. That was summer, man. Could have said yeah. it was winter. So I look at him, I say, how are your inventions coming along? He says, always fantastic. I say, uh, you were working on something, some boom. Uh, yeah, he says, I still don't know why it happened. I think somebody threw in some, uh, scotch. A spark crib was ignited and something happened there. I say, do you think you'd be able to replicate it? Well, he says, it's not hard to replicate, uh, scotch exploding. I say, how useful would it be for you to figure out how to blow shit up? He says, uh, very, probably, but I doubt I'd be able to create a, uh, a more potent explosive than that they uh, have created in the, um, uh, in the Alchemist Guild in the far east, in the major cities. Do you know what they use? He says no one knows what they use. That's oh. that's a trait. See, they they in the in the windowless spire, they keep it quite secret. Hmm. Interesting. Anyhow, if uh, you need help around here, since you seem to be the only person, I'm can... really not in the men. <laughs> I say you're the only person around here who could give me any sort of mental challenge. He laughs and says, "Well." I suppose it's not true the other way around, though. I say, yeah, you're not very smart. You can't take a challenge. Either way, if you need my help. He says I'll keep you in mind. Numbers 9 11. By the way, tell your friends about the Champions Guild. It's okay. Remember, we donated to your, uh, <clears throat> to your shop. Did you? Yeah, we gave you a body to uh, finish with. Did Isn't you that? give it to him? No, we let him fuck with it though. Like two seconds. That's yeah, more than nothing. He ain't never seen some shit like that. Yeah, he does not consider that a donation. A donation um, knowledge. So I assume you just want to wait two hours for Ufar to come back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's probably about five. The sun's. Ju it's just twilight right now, essentially. No sun, just, uh, just light in the sky. <clears throat> Uh, Rufar returns, having found, uh, no tracks. Julio. I say, give me the good news, Udo. I found no tracks. Alright, now give me the good news. Oh, the good news. I... found no tracks. <laughs> Fuck it, give me the bad news. I found no tracks. You see, when you only have one thing to report, there's no good news or bad news. There's, there's just, just news. <laughs> I don't get it. Of course you don't. So you're not an efficient tracker? <sighs> so how about, uh, I'm as much of an efficient tracker as you are, wizard. Uh, figures, that's why you suck. <laughs> I already told you I'm not a wizard. Yeah. Regardless, your dog couldn't find anything either? Said the track was dead. It's like they magically vanished. Poof. 
reminds me of uh, what the robot did, the cyborg, the android did, when we were facing uh, the dwarves in the eyes. He disappeared almost in a similar way. <clears throat> no traces whatsoever left. Definitely some sort of magic. Hmm. So there's not much left for us to do today. I said the cobalt still. I figured some stuff out. Hmm. If they are residing here, which they most likely are, it is in some sort of mountain or cavern. It has to be. They can't be out in the woods or anything like that. So that really yeah. narrows it down. Hmm? I said, oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. He said, dang it. Oh, fuck. No, Johnny <laughs> said, no, 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 no. Can't really speak. No. That's right. He can't speak. My bad, my <laughs> came out. Damn it. I fell back on my chair. It's like a retarded ass. Yeah, so they're probably most likely in the abandoned mines. Are you saying that? Yeah, I said that. Then say it as you should say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you clearly don't understand what he's saying. Yeah, yeah I understand what he said. He said... <laughs> so you're convinced he's a zombie at this point? Alright, so I'm attacking him. Magic missiles, level 4. Give it to me. Give me some damage rolls. <laughs> nah, I'd one-shot him, yeah. He said one-shot. Fuck me, I don't want to go all the way back to the other man and die. We could leave out in the morning. There's a fucking snowman still there, John? Um, I'm pretty sure you destroyed it, didn't you? Like a monster? Yes, did, I, did somebody rebuild it? Are they trying me right now? <laughs> no, it's gone. Okay. It's just there because I'm not going to delete it. Because <laughs> you don't know how to. Well, pretty sure I can kick you out of this campaign pretty fast. I'm not to do that either. I just found a... Uh... Wow. Okay. So, do we have anything else tonight? Because I don't think anyone wants to leave uh, Ralphie. Yeah. Although, that's why we're not venturing out too far from the town today. Yeah. Note that this the next session is gonna be the exact same. It's oh. fine as long as we have Ralphie. You don't really want to leave the still cleric with uh Mitch. Again, then there's the next session is gonna be the exact same. So unless you guys want to skip a couple sessions, yeah. I think that's what it sounds like. More than uh, one day to do. Well, yeah, no. something else is probably gonna go wrong. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, like, Ralphie's... He's gonna be gone for another week, right? And I'll yeah. Later. Right, that's all. Yeah, I guess we could call it here, and... I don't know. If next week he doesn't show up... I don't know. Well, I don't know. We could either not do the session, or... If if you're all cool with that, it's fine. Yeah, because moving yeah, out there. without a cleric is very dangerous, especially since, uh... You, ha down, you only have a uh, ranger who can cast healing spells and a exactly. paladin who can cast healing spells. Only or John could uh, put the effort together and scrap up a little uh, you know, dream sequence for us so we could do a Dugan or something. Um, no, it's not going to happen. Also, you can buy 50 gold pieces for a, a healing spells. No, we're not leaving our still cleric behind. Man. That's fine. I'm trying to make us ditch Ralphie. It's not I'm trying to ditch Ralphie, it's that you guys have split up before and usually ends up fine. Remember when the Canros wasn't here and you were like, F him? Nah, that was before uh, we lost the second son, because we had to take a break, uh, mm. rest. After that, we need to go full force at everything, or we lose things like the second son. Not again. That, that's why I don't want to ditch Ralph, because uh, we were full man force and still lost it. Because it kept on using level 3 spells to do what? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to start assuming you guys are just spending days resting then, waiting for the spell. Next thing. Um, I'd say it's because we're still waiting for Norian's armor, right? Or No, it's fixed already. Oh, no, I already had it. Yeah. We're literally just waiting for Ralphie. Yeah, so you guys oh, are yeah. going to wait a few days then. Ugh. That's great. How, how mm. many is a few? Uh, probably like 3, 4. 
Oh, well, those are good. I don't really like that though. Yeah. yeah, that's the point. All right, uh, see what we Why is he taking so long from the hill, Ralph? Uh, uh because of a difficult spell. That or he because didn't Ralph is in Australia, nigga. Yeah. yeah. And there's a difference between in game and three and four days in game. He was drunk? I don't know. Um, I say in game. We wait until tomorrow for Grimax's trial, and we see where we go from there. Right. Go from there. You guys want? You guys want to wait today? Yeah, for Grimax's trial. Cool. Uh, so I guess we'll just go to Grimax's trial. Then. Uh, day sixteen now, or sixteen days to go, rather. Uh, you guys are waiting here, I suppose, to... Uh, I question you guys probably have to wait down here. Uh, uh, it's not public? Oh, it's, it's public, but it's just this thing's on a slight angle upwards, about five feet up. Uh, there's just a ton of people. Uh, they eventually get Gr Grimax out of the stocks. You see people, all kind of, you see a couple of guards around. As well as general people is just watching. Um, you see, uh, Mitch. Mitch also shows up. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Mm -hmm. I'm about to watch some. Do get decapitated. Says, yeah. Who you voting for? Obama. Obama. But yeah, why this guy's white? Um, that one. Is a dirty trading. But you wouldn't happen to know anything about a shit ton of eyes growing on somebody, right? I says, well, not on some people as he looks to you and your your eye still bleeding a little bit. You know, it's still bleeding? Wouldn't I be dead? <laughs> it's not like profusely bleeding. It's just like a little drip, so I take out a handkerchief and wipe it. You know, it's, <laughs> it's probably got infected. I say, but no, you don't know about, you know, Anything like that? Like, let's say a thousand arms were to pop out of my arm. I mean, a thousand eyes were to pop out of my body right now. He says I'd say he should probably go see a doctor. Okay. I don't know what that is. But, yeah, so it's going to be a fun fight. Sure. As I imagine. Uh, so you guys see um, Hum come up. Yo, Hum looks like a diva. He looks like a diva? Yeah. With his hand out like that. Okay. Uh, where is some fighting music? Let's see, so who are you going for? Says, um, I'll, I'll go for, uh, that guy over there. Cat points to Grim X. Mm. So I like, to, I like to, I like to vote on the underdog. <coughs> So I and question who's the underdog in this fight. Yeah. He says, um, well that, I assume that old man has some tricks up his sleeve, otherwise they wouldn't put, up, put him up against him. I say, and Grimax has, uh, eyes on the other side. Yeah. You can see, clearly, uh, he has his armor on, but he doesn't really have any clothes under that. So the eyes are visible. The eyes are visible? Yeah, a lot of the eyes, especially on his arms, are visible. Yeah, so I point that out to Mitch, I say, you have no idea what that is? Says, um, that's. It looks like some sort of strange augmentation. Do you know how that could be achieved? He shakes his head. Uh, meanwhile, you see two guys over here on the side. They just begin putting pile upon pile of, uh, of basically this, this massive chain on the ground. It takes about three, three to four of them to actually carry all of it. Now, with these little piles, I'll just draw them out real quick. Uh. Pile, pile, pile. Beautiful done. Thank you. Um, so you uh, you can see the battle's starting to begin. Anything you want to do before it? Secretly buff Hum? No, I'm kidding. No, that would probably be cheating. Considering this is going to be whoever wins this is going to whoever. This is a trial by death. Combat. Yeah, trial by combat essentially. 
So if, we're, if, uh, if Remax wins or if somebody cheats, he'll probably go free. Uh, can um, we go up here? Uh, you can climb up if you want, yeah. I'll allow it. Oh. Uh, Vic Camera, so I'm gonna need you to roll an FLX check. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm joking. I, I am? It's five feet! <laughs> yeah, and you're a, cl you're a wizard. Six <laughs> Give me two. a check. Give me a check. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> get a one. Get a one. Get a one. You climb into the fire. <laughs> Where the fuck is my friend? Where's my character sheet? I don't know. Uh, what's your name again? The Camros? Yeah, it's right there. Camros Carter. Oh, nice. I had a refresh. It's at the very bottom. Okay, um, so yep, you can see the battle uh, begins. Uh, Grimax sort of, j they both just kind of stand there for a moment. But uh, eventually Grimax starts waving his hand around, you can see the chain begin to uh, move on its own. After a brief moment, you see all those chains kind of string together, turning into one giant ball, and eventually turns into this monstrosity. Uh, this massive uh, elemental made of iron begins lumbering its way towards Grimax. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> after, after a brief uh, moment, you uh, ignoring the cameras, you could both notice him uh, whispering something to himself. Uh, he seems to be doing it quite like purposefully and, and quite speedily. That's fucking asshole. What okay. language is he speak? It appears to be something strange. Big camera story. Uh, um, Carbon and Elvis, I think? Nope. Uh. Probably not any language I know, right? No. Common Elven or Dwarven Goblin? Nope, 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 nope. So, uh, the monster lumbers over to about here. I uh, goes for a smash, and that's when, uh, Grimax, you see, kind of dodges back. And uh, he kind of makes a, uh, he kind of screams out. Um, what languages do you speak, Ragnar and Rufar? Uh, common and Dwarven. And Rufar? Uh, uh, only thing different is Nolish from Vic. <clears throat> okay, then, nope, nope. Uh, he screams something out in a strange foreign language, and you can see his skin seems to uh, rip off, and he seems to form a strange creature with two massive claws. He's just absolutely wreathed in eyes, as well as one massive one that constitutes his face. Mitch? So shoot! I bet I'm the right guy. Ah, <laughs> uh, he... Uh, what were you gonna say? Yeah, uh, does it look like one of the guys in the uh, dream, or whatever that yeah. Rafi said? Um, you didn't... you didn't have consciousness in that dream, remember? Oh yeah, the, just it was it was the other guy, but yeah, it's the exact same guy. Uh, so this guy charges forth. Uh, this thing takes a swing, but he's too dexterous and he dodges right under. He then charges forward towards uh, towards um, Hum. Uh, this massive lumbering creature with these two massive claws is just wreathed in eyes. Uh, he gets over to Hum and he starts swinging. Uh, you can see Hum is pretty much screwed at this point. Pretty much? Pretty much screwed, yeah. Uh, he takes his claws out and he begins stabbing profusely into Hum. No in volunteers uh, tribute! Okay, okay. Before he does it, can I jump in? Um, you can, you can try to jump if you like. But so uh, some... you can't just jump in like that. Why not? Because that's how it works. Yeah, he's gonna go free. That's say you still can't jump in, that's against the rules. Since when do you care? Go for rules. it. I yell at Norian, no, that, that, we must abide their laws. Norian, do whatever you feel is right. No, if I see Norian jump in, I'm taking out my bow. Yeah, fuck it. Norian, you jump in, I'm behind you. <laughs> 
That's how it is, huh? Alright, I'll jump in. Cool. Uh, yeah, you fine. jump in, and you see uh, this guy basically kind of, kind of shocked and surprised by what's going on, but he tries to stop you, essentially. Um, so when he does it, I, I say that that thing's gonna kill us all. Uh, he's, he's still uh, abiding by the rules. Um, this guy's going to kill Hum, and Hum is pretty much headless at this point. Well, not headless, it's more like heartless. You see this thing pull out his heart. Um, but if you want, you can roll for initiative. Yeah, let's all do that. Um, oh, it's already dead. At this point, I won't do anything uh, for now. He already jumped in. To stop this thing. Shit, he already jumped in, right? Alright. Uh, Diego doesn't have so much Yeah, that's why I messed up. I still had it on Diego's. I look at Mitch and I say, well... Uh, you wanna help? He says, well, uh, I don't know. I, I, if I did help, it would be on his side, right? Because well, I wanna win that. I wanna, I you already win. won. He says, the original well, contender's dead. He sighs and says, but, uh... But now it's a new game. And he kind of gives out a smile. I say, then who do you think's gonna win, him or you? <clears throat> he and says, I say that I he jump says, back in. he says, uh, I'll sir, I'll sir you. <laughs> um, one second, I'm gonna go get uh, Mitch. Uh, I'm Ragnar are staying up. Yep, I'm staying out of that. I have to abide their laws. So you're, you're gonna leave Norian to go in there by himself. That's how you know he's not a true guild member. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, the trial already finished, so... Yeah, the trial's already done. Yep. Yes, and by law, I yell at him, and by law, he won his freedom. Well, that does suck, he still he got it fair and square. Yeah, he's free. And we're, we're killing him now. So, we're the aggressors. Fuck up, Ragnar, we're not gonna help. Okay, so, um, <laughs> everyone roll for initiative, including the Centurion. And the Iron Elemental. Wow. Cool. Um, and I'm assuming this guy's just gonna stay out of it. Cool, uh, the Centurion is going to stab at Norian. Okay, so he attacked. Cool. Yep. Uh, 120 plus. Actually, what does he have? I think he's like a plus 7. Uh, nope, that's actually surprisingly low. Uh, I attacked once. Attacked twice. Hit. Three times a lady. I can the three times and the lady hit. Cool. Ah, uh, he stabs you. Boom, boom, for 12 damage. Jesus. Cool. Uh, he's then going to... He'll then back off. Uh, you can take attack for if you like. Uh, sure, I will. Mm. <coughs> cool. Um, so every time you take an attack for opportunity, he takes an attack for opportunity as a reaction. A reaction on his turn? Yeah. Can't you only take a one attack of opportunity? With the amount of eyes this guy has, you think he might have more than one reaction. Um, so that 15 is probably going to miss, uh, but he's going to attack, counterattack you. Uh, 17 to hit or miss, Nori? No, uh, yeah, I have 17. That, that hit? Oh, you have 17? I have 17. So, um, then he hits you for 1d8. So another 6 points of damage to you. Uh, the 20 will hit him for 8 points of damage. Um, and then he will, of course, try to react to you. Uh, 20 hits you. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, 4. Uh, uh, it's uh, only one opportunity attack. No, not for him. Oh, for, yeah. you can take multiple on him? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yep. 
Nope. And uh, for the two nines, it's going to be one and two for another 3d8. Oh, beautiful. Seriously. 17 points of damage. As he backs off, you go for that couple of swings, and every time he swings, he starts stabbing at your hands. Uh, he gives out a strange laugh that's also sound kind of a gurgle as he backs off and gets to gets to over here. Uh, if the camera, it's Carter. Uh, what are challenge ratings? Challenge ratings? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's 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 <laughs> because I want to summon eight elementals each with a fourth of a challenge rating. Oh, a fourth of a challenge. That's gonna mean that means you have a pathetic challenge rating. Yeah. All right, so then one with two. One with two. Um, sure. With a two challenge rating. Yeah. That would be much more devastating. Not really. Uh, it's, it's, a level, it's, a, it's a level. It's a level two challenge rating. So. Yeah. I mean, more than a which we call level one fourth. What the hell is a challenge rating though? Um, yeah, it's essentially a level. Um, you, you divide. If there was like a level five challenge rating, it means that all combined levels of a party better. Uh, that, that, if they're all equal five, then that would be good for a creature. So if they're, if you find like five uh, level one to level one challenge rating uh, wolves, it would be good for a party of five. Or if you're fighting <laughs> one five uh, five challenge rating ogre, it would be good for a party of five too. All right. Well, in that case, considering this dude has one four five, yeah, no, no, yeah, one elemental with a challenge rating of two. Yep. You, he's right there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> it has to roll initiative and has its own turn. Cool. Uh, cool. 18. 18. 6, so it'll be. Right nice. after you. Cool. So right before you, rather. Attack. Great, can't. Oh. can't. I, no, guess I he, can give it verbal commands. He can make it go to 16 if he wants. Mm. Um, cool, so um, it is going to go for... It's just going to go straight for him over there. Or a uh, rush over and attack. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'll do a water boat or some shit. I don't know. Uh, it says you should have, like, the statistics. Yeah, yeah, I have the statistics. But you're basically mm -hmm. telling it to go over there. Uh, it gets to there, goes to here, goes to there. Uh, you see this massive elemental look towards it, and it makes a smash. Uh, boom. Uh, fortunately, though, uh, the thing's just too fluid and fast, and it just ma smashes at the ground before it, creating a massive uh, ditch in the ground right there. Uh, it continues on, and it begins uh, attacking, uh, but it's going to miss it. I just had a curiosity, how much damage is it worth? Oh, it has its own turn, too. It attacks yeah, on its it, own turn. It, it well. just did its own turn. That's Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just out of curiosity, how much does it roll for damage? You don't know. Oh, okay. Norian. Cool. Um. Cool. I'll get over here. Cool. And I'm gonna attack on the with the uh, sword of Aster. Nice. Uh. Okay. Wow. Nice. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to do devastating amount of damage. Um. However. Uh, as that happens, as a reaction. This guy, um, casts a spell. Bethalzazar? Not Bethalzazar, Mitch. Mm hmm Uh, he basically casts shield on him. Uh, <laughs> his... His AC gets plus four. Uh, you miss both times. Damn. That's only for one turn, or...? Only for one turn, yeah. I mean, no, but for, it's just for his entire turn. Until it's his turn. So, Udafire will get the same thing. Okay. So, I look at Mitch. Mitch, who are you fighting for? He says, uh, I want to win. You already won. He says, and I'm going to make sure I keep winning. He laughs. He doesn't laugh maniacally, he laughs like a goofus. I say, oh my god, I get it. You just can't kill it. That's fine. Uh, Nor, you want to do anything else? Oh, uh, by the way, uh, he, 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 he texts you back. Uh, boom and boom. Another six damage to you, Nor. Okay. Wait, isn't it only the opportunity attacks? Uh, opportunity attacks? Um, yeah, it's because he attacked them, so he got more attacks. Every time oh, he so attacks, it's not him, only on opportunity attacks. It's, it's yeah, you attack it's, a, it. it's oh. similar to Norian's um, Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this guy's a Centurion. He's like a super Sentinel. 
Um, this one move. Uh, we fire you up. Um, let me just see if Cure Wounds is a range spell, which I know it isn't, but it's touch. Yeah, I figured that. Damn it. Yeah, you're on your own there. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a yeah, fucking. He has fucking. I'm casting silence on uh, Mitch right there. Nigga. Cool. I say uh, sorry, Mitch, but I also don't want to lose. Okay. Um. Please make the square in which you yep. silence. So that will be my turn. I just need to figure out how big it is again. So I'm it's it's uh I mean it's maybe it's like twenty by twenty feet. Mm-hmm. Check that. Uh, silence, silence, silence. But yeah, that will be it for my turn since I am casting spell. Yeah. That is all I can do because spell casting is fucking gay. Yeah, twenty twenty. <laughs> because spell casting's gay. I can only cast one our Eldritch Blast per turn. Oh no. I can only conjure something from nothing once in a while. Uh, is that a con- uh, concentration spell? Uh, it is. Cool, just making sure. Uh, let me double check that. Yes, it is a concentration spell up to 10 Sweet. Um, you see him kind of look to you, kind of squint his eyes. He takes two fingers and he puts them on his temple, and uh, you see his eyes begin to, um, they sort of darken. They go from like a, like a bright kind of bluish to like a, a dark and steelish color. As you see this one, the creature's eyes become more bluish, or these two blue, blue glowing dots, as it begins to go poof, poom, poom, poom. And with these Wait, mass- will my elemental be able to attack it? Um, uh, no, because there's it's got space. It's not you, your well, I know it's not a super creature. Okay, and looks like it is going to uh, oh, make a dexterity saving throw, buddy. Uh, eight twenty plus. As this, as this thing tries to land on you, cool. Uh, you uh, narrowly dodge as this these uh thing makes a massive smash, uh, destroying pretty much the entire thing you were just on right there. Well. Wow. Okay. Uh, Centurion's going to do some stabbing. Uh, Norian. Boom. 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 And uh, this last one's going at this guy right here. Uh, we really need to that one. Okay, uh, seven damage to Norian, and three damage to the little guy. Ragnar, this is about the time where you donus. Cool. Uh, now, due to his mobility features, he can move away without actually invoking attack of opportunity. But he wanted to invoke one last time. Screw with you. Uh, it moves to about right here. Uh. In theory, with Sentinel, I can attack even if they use disengage. Oh, is that true? Cool. Then go for it. Yep. He's gonna attack you back. I know he will, but we gotta kill him anyway. He's gonna attack me even when I do it, so... That is true. Cool. Uh, boom, boom! Okay, my hits. Uh, that's two misses. That's three damage moves to here. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, Vic Cambros. Guard. I don't miss. Um... My bad. You now, are also in my zone of silence, by the way. Yeah. Which, no, no, which, no, 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 no. You, you, you never actually showed where your zone of silence yeah, is. Yeah, my bad. I meant to pit him on the outside, because he won't actually enter the field, so I went to pit the end of it to be around him. My bad. Uh, 15, that. 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 40 all the way down. I'm just zooming down this 40. Okay, cool. Um, I never actually gave him a turn. Let me just add him in real quick. Nice. So I'm gonna move right. And this right there. And magic missile level three. Nice. So that would be five D four plus four. Be all four. Ooh, forty damage. Nice. Plus damage. That's fifteen damage. That's plus five, isn't it? No, it's plus four. Yeah, plus five. No, it's plus five. Yeah, so fifteen damage. Cool. Um, uh, elemental. Yep, water elemental. Uh, he's going to charge forth. One, two, three, four. Going to try to attack. Gonna miss. <laughs> Fuck, it's elemental. Uh, Norian, you're up. One, two, three, four. 
there, I guess. Okay. Uh, uh, first one's a critical value. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. Yeah, you and your critical hits. Sweet. Um, so, yeah, those are both definitely going to hit. He can't exactly do any reactions. Uh, does the extra damage for the critical? Should I roll cool. for the, um, the detuning? The stun die. Oh, stun die, yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, 14. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely gonna need that stun die. Do I um, see a mighty bro? A disarm? I, I don't think this guy, this guy's claws, he can't be disarmed, really. Oh, yeah. I think he's using... Technically, he can be disarmed. <laughs> yeah, but that, that would require a much higher roll. The 14. Um, so yeah. Too mighty close. Uh, yeah, I, he said I couldn't do two of those. Um, you can't I stack will... mighty blows anymore. anymore. Yeah. Uh, I will use one mighty blow and one, uh, what's it called, momentum to get advantage cool, on the next cool. uh, attack. Uh, you pretty much jump on top of him and uh, you stab right deep inside of his body in kind of like a vertical fashion. Uh, you see his body just kind of withers away as if it was like a, a flesh with nothing inside of it. Cool. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I'm in the zone is silence then. Yeah. Um, so he, he, still he, he moves to there, kind of shrugs. Yeah. Uh, he says, dang it. And he says, uh, as this creature kind of stops moving. <laughs> and he kind of, kind of gives a wave of his hand and you see it kind of just turn you chains again. So you should have taken your victory while you had it. He says I still won. <laughs> so, uh, so you want to check this thing out with me? I uh, these shrugs. By the way, I let the water elemental nurture the ground as it seeps into the dirt. Ah, uh, it's not really dirt. It's more like, you know, sand. Sand, yeah. No. So, I'm gonna just go over Nori and cast healing, uh, cure wounds level 2. Oh, did the body just disappear? Uh, well, it basically just turns into... Like, just the skin is left. 16 health, Norian. I know I'm not nice. a paladin, but... Thank you, it's a lot, anyway. So I just look around at all the guards. Yeah, they're all pretty shocked. Yeah. So I'm just gonna come over to Hun, Hun's body and kind of just drag, help the dwarves drag it out if they're dragging it out. Or... Um, They're just kind of looking at him, trying to... Figure out what to do. They did I'd not expect him to die. Maybe there's somebody who could bring him back. It's still, there's no. still time. They say we need his heart. Yeah, it's it's done. He there's no chance of him coming back. Unless unless anyone had like a true resurrection, it'd be very difficult. Yeah. I say uh, well we can uh, we should move his body out of this place. He yeah. Yeah. They 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 they, they non agree. And they uh they they start picking they pick him up they they bring a stretcher over and they and they start t taking him out. Um, let's play something that's more appropriate for what just happened. <sighs> Mitch kind of comes up. So that was fun. So I told you. He offers a high five. Yeah. Hey, turn it. I know better than that. Yeah. Don't leave me hanging, buddy. <laughs> he mage hand high five. Yeah, he he, uh, he mage he creates a mage hand to to mage hand your high five. <laughs> uh, so I look at the crowd or uh, Udo and Nori and I say, "Wow." Gotta say, I saw that one coming. Uh, all the way. Yeah. That's what happens. Uh, I got cocky. So how do you make deals too. with the dragon from below? Hope that's not giving you any ideas, Vic. I say uh, thanks, Ragnar, by the way. Really appreciate the help. I'm sorry, <sighs> but... If we don't so, abide the laws, we're no better than the evildoers. Mm-hmm. I say, Nora, you feeling good? You really, you really think you're no better than that thing? I'm good, good. I say maybe we should go talk to like the last elder alive. There's two alive. Really, carts and who else? Um, let me just look. There's there's Cantia, carts, 
Um, and uh, where are you? I'm in the mountain. Uh, I didn't get it. Uh, I couldn't get it. I sent. I don't know. Uh, there was carts, Cantia, Hum, and Lock. Lock. Uh, Lock's still alive, yeah. So we should talk to them. See, uh. I don't know. I know we probably shouldn't be the one to give it to you, but we killed another one of your guys. We didn't kill him. He doesn't know that. We avenged him. Yo, a, a whole crowd of people can uh, vouch for that one. We yeah. didn't have who ripped his heart out. <laughs> so should we go talk to him now before any other misinformation gets to him? I said it's not really our business to talk to him. I mean, there's no way in the world. I say you'd be surprised. I said, uh, well, you can go. I feel like we interfered quite enough. So I sh I'll share a quick word with him, give him my condolences. Okay, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go see if I can talk to Kurt. Cool. And? What do you do? You see the door in front of you. Oh, fuck, I've never gotten this far. <laughs> I knock on the door. Cool. Um, you knock. Uh, you see a dwarf eyes kind of look out at you. Young dwarf eyes. I say, uh, I'm here to talk to Cart. I, uh, you hear about what? I say I'm here to give my condolences and talk about what just happened in the arena. He, uh, he kind of looks around and says, one second. And after a while, you see Karts come to the door. I say, uh, I'm sorry for your loss, Karts. He says, what, they killed Grimax? I say, yeah, we, we, we took care of Grimax. But, but um... Did you not fight before. in, in Homestead? That's weird. I say, Grimax turned into this creature see his eyes kind of open says where's hum I say some of your boys escorted him his body on a stretcher yeah he kind of falls back He's like, what I try to like hold him up I say yeah he's a dwarf he's small and heavy <laughs> I was like he was fighting he summoned a chain elemental then Grimax shedded his skin, peeled back. He was this mon monstrosity, two claws, bunch of eyes, and with superior dexterity. <laughs> quick superior <strikes>. dexterity. <laughs> he was just too quick. He hit Hum right in the heart. Dear gosh. I say we quickly jumped in and killed that beast. He says you interrupted a fight? I say it was already over. If that thing would have lived any longer, it would have taken more than just one life. He, he sighs and says regardless, that was still illegal. I say none of your men tried to stop us. He, it he, seemed like the he, right thing to do. Uh, he, he says um, it's, it was still unfortunately not. He has sighs sadly and says uh, you'll have to speak to Locke about this. I say the whole guild's condolences go out to Hum. Uh, we'd like to attend the funeral if possible. Maybe say some words. He says, um, I'll organize something. But thank you for your time. But I, I have to think. We kind of close of course. the door. Glory in the park. We'd fire. Ragnar. Um, let's say, how are you doing, Norian? Looks like you took quite a beating. I'm doing alright, I'm just, uh, a little sad. I spent some time with, some time with him. Like, he taught us quite a few things with Ragnar, so. It's a shame that he got, you know, slaughtered. Yeah. I was hoping we could, uh, we'd be able to interrogate that thing, but. Yeah. The. Dwarves are just too bent on their uh, their traditions to, you know, wise up. I don't think that thing's actually dead. I 
what do you think? Hmm. I say I spoke to Carts. Uh, we have to talk to Locke about interrupting the fight. I never uh, interrupted. Uh, I know, it's just we just have to sort stuff out. But they're gonna organize something and I guess we're actually invited to this one. Sad things. So either way, time's ticking and there's more of these things out there than we could imagine. <laughs> so then we should stop it. Uh, I know you guys cared about him, but we don't have time to attend his funeral. Because I really don't think that's the last thing we saw of those things. We, they have the second stun. We're running out of time now. This is yeah, like, where are we supposed to go? I said we could start off with the mines. We need something. Because right now, we're on a dead trail. We need to pick up something. The best yeah. thing we got are these coal bolts. We need to grab onto something and, you know. So right now, we're at a dead end. What time is it in the day? Um, it's probably early, like noon. Yeah. I said, uh, we can move out to the, uh, the cab, the mines right now. We can check on if, uh, Ralphie, I haven't said Ralphie, if the seal cleric, if Mitch had actually done what he said, we could get by whatever we're getting, because I am going to buy enchantment on this bow, and then move out to the mines. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, uh, before we go though, I'd like to um, purchase a couple of extra one uh, scrolls. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We can, we can do this um, during the chat. So, okay. uh, thanks for playing, guys. Um, I'll see you next. Same Dragon Time, same <sighs> Dragon Channel, that whatever. I don't really mess it up. You got it right, man.